ライブライブ行っていけるかなもしもーし<笑>もしもーし<笑>みんな元気<笑>見える ?Can you see me? もしもー<笑>もしもーし電話<笑>電話みたい<笑>はいみんな元気かなはいこんにちはこんばんはかな元気えー、っと今誰ムハオあはいムハオムハオ Can you see me? Good ジャンプジル、モーニング。モーニングと、isn't it too early for you? Isn't it like 5?5 時<笑>早いね。あ、秋山、大輝。秋山、元気。ステックス、あ、<笑>ステックス、あ、oh, it's 3 p.m. for you? 3時いいね。あ、ザイト、you're here. Everyone's like on time today? ヘチー、グッド。Good to see ya.、Huh? Good, good, good. えー、ステックス、エブワンズ元気です。アンドリューファーストタイムライトオンタイムグッド !Like, everyone's so on time today!Okay, <笑> good!Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I got so many questions, um, you know, submitted, um, so I kind of have to go pretty quickly. <笑> so, uh, let me, let me show you, um, Okay, one sec. That's my cat Yuffie. <laughs>、um, let's see. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, let me show you my notes. I might not be able to respond to the chat because I have a lot <laughs> to cover. So,、um, I will check the chat every now and then, okay?、Um, okay, yeah, for j u m p u j i r u okay, it's pretty late for you. Did you stay up all night? Oh, thank you for doing that. Oh,、uh, Kiyama, I forgot to submit、uh, questions.、Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm sure there will be、um, another stream. c r i k e y hi.、Uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to go through as much as possible today. I might not be able to you know,、um, answer every single question, or I might have to like, answer like, kind of briefly.、Um, Because、uh, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so,、uh, you know, trying to like kind of you know, respond to like six people and、uh, trying to, you know, look into the chat、uh, messages too. So, let's see. Okay, c r i k e y hi sensei, h e c h i go through mine. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, okay, okay. So,、uh, I'm gonna just start, okay? Can I just go to、uh, my pages? Okay.、Um, here we go. So, yeah, Patrick, is Patrick here? Um, Hitch is here.、Um, it goes to the next page as well. So I'm going to just start from here.、Um, I didn't get the name、uh, of the person.、Um, so I just say a question mark.、Uh, can anybody recognize these questions?、Uh, is, uh, who, whoever is in the chat, is this your question?、Uh, you know, just let me know. I mean, I can still answer, I can still answer them. But、uh, you know, it, it, it will be nice if you have any additional you know,、uh, explanations or you know, additional comments.、Um, anyway, I'll, I'll just start from this one because I think you know, this might interest、um, a lot of、um, you know, absolute、uh, beginners. So,、uh, yeah, so、um, I, don't, I don't know whoever this was.、Uh, I just guess, okay,、uh, it's a new、uh, subscriber, I guess. And it says,、uh, what would you suggest? A complete beginner to Japanese, i.e., no experience with Japanese, not even things like games or anime,、uh, try to focus on first. Okay,、uh, what should be the focus? Okay,、uh, vocab, phrases, pronunciation. <laughs> okay, of course, it's everything, but、um, are you talking about like absolute beginners without knowing any hiragana or katakana? Of course, you know. The very first thing of things、uh, should be you know, focusing on you know, hiragana and katakana first.、Um, you, know, you can use any, pretty much any apps to learn you know, hiragana and katakana. I have some recommendations I will show you later.、Uh, but uh, you know, if you've passed the、uh, you know, super early stage of uh, learning, learning uh, you know, hiragana and katakana, Then after that, yes, vocab is super super important. 
Uh, phrases and pronouns. Okay, phrases. Um, you don't. You might not want to learn phrases first because uh, it might not make any sense to you first. Okay, so you can skip that. Of course, you know some. Important things like, you know, saying arigato, arigato gozaimasu uh, or, uh, you know, uh, ohayou, ohayou gozaimasu, konnichiwa, konbanwa, so on and so forth. Yeah, okay, those are fine, but, um, you know, you might not want to learn any random phrases or expressions yet, you know, at this stage, but focus on super basic vocabulary. Um, I have some recommendations I'll show you later. Pronunciation wise, um, when you learn vocabulary, normally it comes with some audio, like audio clips and files. So you might want to, you know, mimic, you know, uh, the pronunciation, but you can, you can always improve later, you know, by, you know, listening to me or, you know, listening to podcasts and things like that. Okay. So, uh, vocab is super, super, super important. Okay, it might not make any sense in the beginning if you if you are new to you. Learn vocab, learn like numbers, time words, you know, things like that. Okay, it's it's very important. First, it doesn't make any sense. It's fine. It's not gonna make any sense anyway. Uh, but you've got to, you know, collect um, a lot of pieces together and then then, you know, later you can, you know, make sentences and like you know, it will be more fun. You, you'll be able to express later, but, you know, in the beginning, you need to, you know, uh, gain more vocab, you know, learn how to count, uh, you know, how to say super basic things, you know, like uh, talk about today and so on and so forth. I'll show some recommendations a little bit later. And uh, so that's that. Yeah, pron- of course, you know, as I said, pronunciation is important, but, you know, you don't worry too much about uh, pitch accent because some people might say, "Oh, pitch accent, pitch accent," you know, uh, ev- you know, is everything. Don't worry, it's it's fine. You know, you can always fix that. And I've uh, mentioned this before, uh, you know, in my streams that um, pitch accent kind of like almost disappears when we speak like super fast, anyway. So it's not going to be a big deal, but uh, I'm, you know, you might want to mimic certain sounds, you know, um, of course, you know, like it's a good idea to, um, you know, start reading uh, sentences, you know, once you're comfortable, that's when you kind of start understanding how to pronounce Japanese. So don't worry too much, you know, in the beginning. Okay. Uh, So that's that. And, uh, Let's see. So the second question, uh, um, it says, um, do you have any suggested uh, sites or apps for complete beginners to use? Uh, ideally for self-study. Okay, yeah, I made a PDF file. <laughs> so I see, see my PDF. I'll show you. Uh, one sec. Uh, let me see. Let me switch the screen. Um, let me see. Okay, I know you guys are talking a little bit. I mean, you, you can, you, you know, you, you can still talk. If you want to do shiritori, <laughs> it's fine. You know, if you want to talk about something else, that's also fine too. But I might not be able to pay attention, okay? Um, let's see. Again, let me switch the screen. So I made this, <laughs> okay, super quickly. So it's not going to be complete. It's just like my current, uh, you know, recommended... Uh, you know, apps or websites or, you know, books and things like that. So I just, you know, it's a kind of quick thing. And, uh, you know, it's not meant to be like an ultimate, you know, guide or anything. You know, of course, you know, feel free to, you know, uh, change it, adjust it, um, you know, to whatever you like. But it's just like, okay, these things, I'll, I'll just go through pretty quick, you know, uh, uh, super quickly uh, right after this. But um, uh, these are like, you know, tested and uh, recommended by my own private students too. And so I know that they work. So, uh, but let me see, nothing is perfect though. Like you have to know that no app or no books are, um, are complete. You know, sometimes you, ha- you kind of have to pick and mix. That's why I have many suggestions here. So let me just go one by one. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, 
let me just i have so many things in front of me so <laughs> i might be a little bit slow but uh, uh i need to get the right document in front of me okay here we go so yeah i can see this okay so yeah of course you know uh in case you know you don't know anything you know about japanese you're like you know you're an absolute beginner i have no idea uh, you have no idea you know what to do of course start from here you know hiragana uh, hiragana i say hiragana hiragana mnemonics so um i'm not gonna click on it i i made a link uh you know to um a site where you can look at um you know a chart with like um pictures and things like that so uh i'm i'll make this file um downloadable i always promise that but this this one definitely i will try to you know put this uh you know downloadable I, i'll upload this um later so if you download this uh list you can just click on this link i'm not gonna click on it because i'm not gonna mess up i don't want to mess up with my <laughs> stream uh i have a lot of different uh screens set up so you know if you click on it you will see uh like a pretty good uh chart with uh you know hiragana uh, mnemonics where you can learn hiragana super super quickly i think it just takes like a day or two you know just one day or two days you'll be able to master hiragana okay and the next thing uh you've got to work on uh you know katakana and again i, I have a link for you here you know if you click on it it will take you you know to um a website um where you can learn katakana super super easily and of course you know that's not going to be enough so you know once you're comfortable uh with hiragana and katakana you know you can use pretty much any any app any mobile apps um even websites anything uh or games uh you know to test and practice you know uh hiragana and katakana okay to to kind of you know internalize it to solidify you know what you learned you know here so uh okay so yeah this is only for absolute you know beginners in case you don't know uh you know i think you know maybe you know one one or two of you uh some of you might not know anything you know about hiragana or katakana so uh you know you can you know click on these links and uh you know uh, they will take you uh to the right uh you know files and websites uh, where you can learn um hiragana and katakana super super easily um they're the best ones so and uh i'm gonna just go over super quickly i know it's a lot but you don't have to um you don't have to do everything okay these are just like recommended um you know apps and like uh websites and books um that i personally you know kind of you know looked at as well and a lot of my private students also went through and it was successful you know they they learned a lot um so uh let's see it's right here uh, if you see this uh it says i know japanese core 1000 uh i'm not gonna click on it but it has a link um you can you can click on it later and this will take you to a very good website where you can learn a lot of vocabulary and you can listen to um you know audio as well uh you can listen to pronunciation you can uh read sentences too okay so this is a really good website um you can even sign up um you know and use their system to practice vocabulary if you want and uh, it's not just 1000 if you if you already actually know the first 1000 they do have more they have 2000 3000 4000 you know um so you can learn actually up to 6000 you know uh, words uh, on this website and also using their app so i highly recommend i know uh you know is a really good app it has pretty much everything it might be a little bit hard in the beginning you'll be like oh i can't I can't understand anything just learn vocab just learn just single words and move on it's okay if you don't understand any sentences if you don't understand anything you can just skip you, you can skip okay just to pick the things that's easy enough for you to learn okay and repeat okay then it, it will get better okay nobody's gonna understand you know on day one so you've got to uh you know give yourself more time 
you know and uh, you know I know it's gonna be just like kind of you know you, you'll be taking baby steps uh, but uh, you know uh, yeah, I was a baby everyone, everyone was a baby so we kind of have to go through super simple stuff first and of course you know I have um, you know Anki here um, Anki and Brainscape uh, both uh, uh, space uh, um, you know uh, space repetition system SRS apps uh, both are good Anki a little bit dated uh, but uh, it's pretty solid um, it has a lot of like um, you know learner uh, like made uh, decks user made decks okay? and uh, if you think that Anki is a little bit dated you can you know um, you can use Brainscape Brainscape is very similar to Anki uh, but uh, it's a little bit more like modern looking and uh, I actually like Brainscape more because uh, the app uh, is fantastic and also it's really easy to edit online as well so you can use the website and use the apps uh, use use their app uh, you know if you're using like an iPhone okay. and a uh, uh, word wall uh, this is maybe you don't know this but uh, you can make a lot of um, quizzes you know puzzles <laughs> things like that it's great like you know uh, it's fun to use so if you want to just kind of you know learn vocab and uh, you know just like you know play with it you know uh, you can make games uh, using a uh, word wall um, and of course you know I talked about Lenshu I uh, you know did some you know testing um, on Lenshu but of course you know it's never perfect like no app is perfect as you know so uh, you know my recommendation for Lenshu is like okay sometimes they have too many things so uh, you know you want to skip example sentences don't worry about example sentences just use maybe just like um you know the features that are good you know on Lenshu so maybe just learn individual words you know to begin with and then just like test yourself quiz yourself and maybe that's it for now you know you might not want to use every single feature on Lenshu okay and I'm gonna okay I'm gonna go to the next section uh for uh grammar grammar and practice and review things like that um as I say this is like maybe the most important thing in Japanese is all, all about the context you know uh a lot of people like tend to just focus on like one tiny part without looking at the the whole thing so sometimes that makes it really hard for me to even answer it you know I kind of have to see what comes before that or what comes after that so like that's why I often you know ask you guys oh can you provide more context where did you see this you know because honestly it's pretty much all about the context and um, sometimes when you're learning you know uh, grammar or even vocab you know on its own you know every single like a particle or word might not make any sense you know without uh, you know looking at uh, the bigger picture so you know don't forget about the context when you are learning grammar okay grammar points don't ignore the context always learn with examples okay otherwise you misunderstand it um, anyway so yeah uh, some good apps boom pro uh, boom pro is, is never perfect again like sometimes you know some explanations can be mm, like okay maybe it's not easy to follow but as I said take something that's good <laughs> you know you don't have to you know take everything just oh I like this explanation in boom pro okay just use that you know great you know but I feel like oh, I am having trouble understanding this explanation forget it just leave it <laughs> it's okay you know you don't have to understand everything uh, sometimes you know if you you know like me like you know I, I have like you know my own OCD where I need to know everything you know this would drive you crazy okay so you don't want to be like that sometimes like in Japanese you kind of uh, you have to be imperfect you know if you are if you are a perfectionist it's not gonna work you kind of have to forget it I'm like oh forget it like I'm, I don't want to you know make it perfect okay sometimes it's okay if you don't understand something if you make a mistake if you make mistakes it's okay just don't be a perfectionist 
when you're learning Japanese. I think this is one of my best tips I can give you. Otherwise, it would drive you crazy. Because, like, let me tell you why.、Uh, even、um, linguists, professors, you know, Uh, of uh, the Japanese language, they still argue, they still fight over like tiny things. Okay, so sometimes we don't have all the answers, you know, to like Japanese grammar. Oh, like, why do you say this? Why do you say that? They're trying to analyze and they get no answers. So, like, what's the point?、Uh, sometimes you kind of have to be imperfect in order to learn this language, you know? Anyway, so, and, uh, uh, okay, yeah, so, you, yeah. Uh, if you want to practice grammar, pra-、uh, if you want to practice grammar and review, you know, build your own Anki or Brainscape decks, you know, make it like a quiz as well. You know, just maybe fill in blanks, that kind of things,、uh, you know, that kind of thing. You know,、uh, that's a really good way of practicing grammar. Of course, you know, Boomprod does, does that automatically.、Uh, but if you want to make your own,、uh, you know, decks and,、uh, you know, focusing on the things you want to learn, that's, that's a good idea. Okay. And、uh, as I just mentioned,、uh, you know, you can make quizzes you know, on、uh, WordWall,、uh, which I suggested before. You can take a look at it.、Um, it's sub- sub- subscription based. It's not, it's not easy to say,、uh, but it's, it's worth it if you like making quizzes, if you like playing like, simple games, you know, and you can play it as many times as you want. And also,、uh, here, maybe,、uh, you know. <laughs> This is like maybe the most important thing in here. No. Okay, so yeah, of course, you can uh, listen uh, and uh, you know, watch my、uh, live streams and live you know, stream archives. You know, and、uh, I've talked about、um, you know,、uh, particles and like, you know, sentence structures and verb conjugation. There's so many things I've already mentioned. And of course, you know, I will、uh, you know, continue to add more. You know, streams focusing on certain you know, grammar points. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've covered a lot already, so that you know, they will help you.、Um, and let me see. And、uh, also, you know, once you know more you know, about,、uh, once you learn more you know, vocab and grammar, and you, know, you might want to you know, start writing sentences. Writing sentences is like a really good way of like, double checking your understanding. And see if you can fully understand it because many people kind of like learn with like apps and you know, books and like whatever. They think they understand, but they can't even use it. What's the point? You, know, you have to use it in order to you know,、uh, you know, learn it, in order to master it. So,、uh, you know, writing sentences is a really, really good idea. That's why I do like you know,、uh, you know, sentence checking you know, streams. Okay. Uh, yeah, and have them checked. Yeah, I, I check them online, you know, check them in my streams, you know, for you.、Uh, so, you know, you can kind of check if you understand, you know, correctly. And also, like, this is surprising to you, I guess. Maybe I, I might be the first person to say this, but knowing English grammar helps a lot.、Uh, because, like, okay, you know, when I say, you know, present continuous, if you don't know what it is, You'll be like, oh, what does it mean? And when I say conditionals, you'll be like, oh, what does it mean? You know, so if you actually know some like,、um, you know, English you know, grammar you know, terms, like conditionals, passives, causatives, and things like that, it really helps to, you know,、um, it's not just about being fluent in English. You kind of have to know these terms in order to learn Japanese too, which is very surprising.、Um, Because I actually use、uh, a lot of English grammar terms too, and then compare with Japanese, and then you know, show, you, you know, show you the differences between you know,、uh, English and Japanese, which is super helpful. Okay.、Uh, anyway, and、uh, entertainment wise,、uh, you, know, you don't have to learn you know, everything, you know, just maybe learn like, a word or two you know,、uh, every time you spend. You know, uh, uh, well, every time you listen to like songs or every time you watch like an anime. And、uh, yeah, you can also <laughs> watch my uh, you know, uh, game streams you know, too. I will add more games soon. Okay, more like kind of beginner to intermediate friendly games. 
um, you know, I'll be speaking a lot of uh, Japanese too, so it's good for listening. And uh, yeah, any other types of media to keep you motivated. So uh, you know, if you, if you if you yeah, if you, if you like music, you know, just find like a band you like. Um, but maybe you know, maybe some songs are too hard, <laughs> but <laughs> it depends. Okay, um, a lot of anime songs are kind of great, apart from like fancy or fighting ones. Maybe not very helpful, but like kind of uh, like slice of life, you know, um, like anime, uh, you know, theme songs are great for uh, learning Japanese too. So, anyway, I'm gonna go over here, and the textbook wise, um, as I say, they're never perfect again this applies to everything you know no, none of these are perfect anyway you know so uh just just take what's good you know take what's good and uh, the one i like is nihongo fun and easy it will it, it looks like this okay this is a really good book um it has a lot of um like patterns that you can use almost immediately after learning verb uh, verb conjugation you know, it's super helpful for conversation or like writing sentences or expressing yourself. So this is a really good book to get. Of course, it's not perfect. You know, I, you know, if I could rewrite this book, I will actually change certain things. But still, this choice is better than any other conventional textbooks out there. Okay, in my opinion, like, you know, feel free to disagree. But I feel this is kind of like what you, what gives you enough tools uh, you know, to, um, you know, uh, you know, get your message across, you know, to communicate with native speakers, uh, you know, uh, make your own sentences, uh, you know, this is really helpful. It's very practical. It's nothing like, okay, Genki is like, you know, it's more like college. It's more like for college students. And some of the things, uh, might not work for most of you, but this thing, uh, this book is great for everyone. So you, you'll be like, oh, I can use this pattern immediately, you know? So uh, I highly recommend this one. Again, it's never perfect, but uh, I would say this is like 80%, uh, you know, uh, close to what I want, okay? And uh, uh, another one is like, uh, this is more like a kind of reference book. So uh, it says uh, a dictionary of basic Japanese grammar, this yellow book. It's kind of, you know, it look, looks like a form book. <laughs> it's pretty big. Okay, but it's a really good reference book. Okay, if you want to check uh, certain grammar points. Okay, uh, um, but as I said, it's more like a kind of dictionary. So, uh, and, uh, you know, I don't agree with every single you know, uh, explanations, you know, uh, they have, but it is still pretty good. Okay. You know, w when it comes to wa anga, you know, like everyone says different things. I say different things too. I, I make it easier for my students and, uh, I, I don't teach the same way as this book or any other books. Okay. So, you know, sometimes I, you know, I say something different, but it's still, this book is pretty solid on, you know, any other things too. So, um, I, I like this one a lot. And, uh, if you want to, you know, go for any like JLPT, you know, exam pre prep books, uh, you can get, uh, Somatome, okay, Somatome, uh, JLPT books. And uh, this is for JLPT N5. Uh, it's like the most basic book, but it's, it's really good. You know, even if you're not, uh, you know, if you're not taking uh, JLPT N5, this is a really good book to practice with anyway. It has enough, you know, vocab and kanji and, you know, grammar and everything you need uh, in order to speak, you know, and uh, make a basic uh, conversation, you know, and talk to uh, your friends in Japanese and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I like Somatome books, okay? Um... And also, like, uh, if you're a little bit more advanced, of course, you know, this is not for beginners, but, like, if you are, let's say, um, if you are down, if you're done with, like, JLPT N5, N4 levels, uh, you, you want to start uh, this book, Jokyue no Tobira. This is Intermediate Plus, uh, but it's really good. It's really good for 
people who are looking for more like native like materials but it has a lot of good uh, grammar explanations very detailed grammar you know explanations but this actually covers a lot of uh n5 and n4 as well okay so even though i say intermediate plus this covers let me tell you what this this one covers it cover covers jlpt n5 n4 and n3 Okay, so if you are like, oh, I'm kind of getting ready for N3, go here, get this book. Okay, it will help you because, you know, you, you get to review uh, the previous two levels and at the same time, you know, you get to, uh, you know, um, learn more like N3 intermediate level, uh, you know, uh, kanji, you know, the vocab and grammar at the same time. So this is a really good book. Um, let's see and uh it keeps going okay i know um i <laughs> do i have to do everything uh let's see in terms of kanji of course there are many many options but i i've listed some popular ones okay so uh you know everyone's first choice is kind of like this okay wanikani uh it's an app uh but of course it's again it's never it's never perfect okay it's, you, you can't expect you know, like an app to do everything for you. So uh, my tip for Wanikani is like, just to use Wanikani to identify. Okay, identify uh, characters, identify kanji. Um, and then, of course you wanna learn radicals too, you know, learn radicals. And then just learn to identify kanji, and but nothing else. Okay, why do I say so? Uh, it's because I've looked at, uh, you know, the uh, their example sentences. Sometimes, again, it, it does the same thing as Lenshu, where, you know, it's, it, they look a little bit too random to me, or they skip levels, and uh, it's too challenging for beginners. So that's why I say just don't worry about example sentences. Um, in terms of vocab, they have vocab, but uh, they also include a lot of words that we don't even use. So you know when you wanna uh, when you wanna learn vocab, you wanna actually use this instead. Okay, I know Japanese call one thousand. Of course, this one has you know um, hiragana and kanji and everything. Okay, and uh, so when you're using this. You might see the kanji you don't know. Skip that. Just learn the hiragana version. And then when you are learning kanji, oh, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what it is. And then you can just learn it at the same time. Okay. So, and also this uh, kanji combat game, which I was playing, you know, before in my streams. Uh, as long as you ignore, uh, you know, their focus, too much focus on like onyomi, kunyomi, it is pretty, pretty usable because you get more familiar, you know, uh, with the kanji. Even though they care too much about onyomi kunyomi, you, you want to ignore that. Okay, don't worry if they quiz you and if you get it wrong, don't worry too much. You know, but at least you get to, you know, recognize kanji. You know, that's that's the whole point of, you know, playing a game like this or using like an app. Okay, so that's that. And uh, also, if you want to kind of go for like a um, book, you know, in, if you're like, oh, I, I want a hard copy. <laughs> then you can get uh, this book, uh, Remembering the Kanji. It's a really uh, famous book. You can just get it on Amazon. Um, yeah. So, but uh, of course, you know, it's, it's a book. So, you know, compared to the game option or app, uh, you know, it's going to be on the uh, serious side. <laughs> okay. And one more thing. Okay, one more. Uh, I know it's a lot, huh? I know. Uh, but the thing is, you can't just focus on one thing. You know, um, you kind of have to do everything. <laughs> okay, and, uh, you know, your practical skills, especially, you know, when you have more things to say, when you know enough vocab, uh, that's when you can kind of start working on your you know, practical, practical skills. Here, of course, you know, I hi highly recommend doing this, you know, talk to yourself daily, you know, doesn't matter if you sound like a baby, it's fine. And this is like, if you can, you know, afford it, 
uh, it is a really good idea to, you know, to get a tutor or teacher and practice conversation, you know, in real time. This helps so much, okay? But that's only like, okay, if you can afford it, if you can actually pay for, you know, classes, you know, lessons, uh, you know, uh, conversation classes. Yes, this is a really good option, okay? But if you can't, still, you can talk to yourself. Mm. Um, and uh, of course, you know you want to start reading. Uh, you know when when you know most of the uh, N five level, you know like kind of super beginner level vocab and grammar. That's when you're kind of ready to uh, start reading. Okay. Uh, so yeah, of course you can use um, like some apps. Um, I've listed some here. Uh, uh, Satori uh, Sat Satori Reader. It's a really good app. Um, you can analyze sentences and things like that. Um, and you can use any kind of uh, graded graded readers. Um, this is a, a website called Tadoku. That's where they can uh, they show you um, different levels of uh, books or books in different levels. Uh, so even if you're like super beginner, they still have you know some books for you. Uh, it's mostly free. So you can go to Tadoku, uh, you can just like search for Tadoku um, and then go to the website. Okay. And uh, also a very important thing here is like, uh, you know, you have to modify and add a new, you know, flashcards. Uh, you know, when you're, if you're using uh, Brainscape or Anki, it's very important to practice it. You know, you don't want to repeat the same mistakes over and over. Uh, so, you know, it's really important. So when you, let's say, um, okay, if you, if you take some lessons and you made some mistakes, always write it down, you know, take notes and immediately add to, you know, Anki or Brainscape. So you, you, you get to practice. Okay. Because you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Okay. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is what I have to do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But as I said, like I, I'm just like showing you, like kind of like everything. So, you know, pick, uh, you know what you like. Okay. Um. Uh, so you know, first thing, of course, you need to learn hiragana, katakana, show. Yes. In terms of vocab, just pick one. Just pick one. You know, you don't have to pick multiple. Just pick. Oh, I just want to go for. I know this is fine. Or like, oh, I, I want to use the name, that's fine. But pick one and let's see if it works for you. And uh, in terms of grammar, um, yeah, this, <laughs> you might have to mix a few options, okay? But uh, first, just stick to one, okay? Stick to one thing and see if you like it, you know, see if it's helping you understand. If it's not helping, you know, then just switch to something else. You don't want to switch too quickly, okay? And uh, let me see. Yeah, for entertainment, entertainment is entertainment, you know. So like, pick pick whatever you know that interests interests you, okay? And uh, you know, textbook again. You don't have to get everything. You don't have to get every single textbook because if you get all of them, you're not gonna do any. <laughs> so I know this. You know, I know so many people who just bought so many textbooks and they never opened. So, uh, oh, we just stick to one. Okay, maybe the dictionary is too much for, for now. So, uh, maybe just, you know, just get this, you know, for now and then see if you like it. This is a really easy book to follow as well, okay? Um, it's, it's not overwhelming. So, this is a really good one if you don't know where to begin. Okay, and a kanji, like, oh, when do I do kanji? Can you want to start working on kanji as pretty much as soon as you finish, you know, you finish uh, hiragana and katakana, okay? And as I said, like, don't, don't do everything. Just pick one. Pick one that you like. Don't give up too quickly. Just stick around, you know, longer and then see if it helps, you know? Are you learning anything? And then, you know, you decide if you want to switch to a book. Okay, switch to a book. Okay, so that's that. And the practical skills, as I said, when you have more 
uh, you know, when you've learned more, then that's when you can practice. Okay, so that's that. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I, can I uh, have a sip of uh, tea? <laughs> One sec. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was one question. <laughs> Wonderful. Let me just quickly look at the chat. Okay, oh my gosh. Uh, I missed so many. Um, one sec. One sec. One sec. I'm gonna just scroll. Oh my gosh. So many. So many. So many. Um. Oh. Oh wow. That's a lot. One sec. Uh, let me. <laughs> let me go through. I might, I might not be able to read everything, okay? Um, okay, let's see. Oh, crikey, uh, uh, submit them for future reference. Uh, yeah, there was a... Yeah, I um, posted like a link to uh, a Google form. Um, but uh, hopefully I will have another uh, Q&A, okay? Um, then... Uh, if you check out my community posts or uh, like a stream description, there's always like a link for, um, you know, like a Google form where you can submit. Because I think, you know, this is a better way, uh, you know, because I, I, I get to prepare, you know, something like this, you know, beforehand. And this is very helpful compared to me going like, oh, uh, okay, use Anki, use one and you know, maybe say three things instead. Uh, so like for me, I actually want to see, you know, uh, the questions beforehand so I can give you better answers. Okay. And I can help even more people. So I like doing that. Of course, you know, I, uh, previously, you know, I was answering questions quickly, you know, uh, um, you know, just by looking at the chat and it was good too, but maybe, you know, by, you know, giving, giving you guys more time to think about questions and submit it beforehand you know we can be more specific and uh you know you get better responses so that's why i kind of decided to like you know do like pre-submitted questions um so i can also time myself well too you know anyway so uh so crikey uh hopefully in the future you can submit uh, your questions okay so um <laughs> uh, akiyama and jumpujiru uh talking Okay, yeah, Akiyama, thank you for helping that. Okay. Um, oh, Akiyama, YouTube never gives me notifications. Ah, you can, uh, on um, YouTube, like there's like a bell, like a bell icon or something that you can click and then you can get notifications, but maybe it's not obvious. Um, let me see. Who else is talking? Yeah, jump to do. Am I messing up with your sleep schedule? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Andrew, thank you for helping. Good. Um, uh, Javier, uh, good afternoon. Good. Good to see you here, Zaito. Uh, can I highly recommend the app Hiragana Quest? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there are plenty of apps. So, like, you know, any any app should be good. So, okay. Um. Andrew, uh, Andrew says, uh, vocab is the hardest part. I have to remember. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, it gets better over time. Okay. Kori, konnichiwa. Sorry, I got to uh, late. Uh, konnichiwa. Good to see you. Shiritori uh, is good. Yeah, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's a good one too. Um, yeah, you, you, if, you, if you guys want to do shiritori, it's fine too. You know, it helps you build a vocab. Um, anyway. Um, oh, okay, ah, I can't, okay, those were your questions? Okay, perfect, perfect, good, Akiyama, okay, great. Um, uh, jump to, uh, wanna study kanji? I feel like the style most books, uh, do to remember them doesn't fit. I know, uh, this is a problem for many people too. Um, yeah, I know, like, some people don't like the um approach that Wanikani you know takes and like you'd be like oh no I just can't get it you know I don't want to learn it that way um but I told my students like okay it might look that way in the beginning but you know give it some time and then 
uh, they actually started to understand, you know, more and like, oh, okay, actually this helps. Uh, so give it a bit more time, you know. But of course, you know, you, you might want to, uh, you know, try like different apps and books, you know, as well. Uh, but Wanikan is one of the you know most popular kanji apps out there. Um, but uh, of course, you know, some people only use Anki for learning kanji. That's also great too. You know, sometimes they just look at it and then learn it. And uh, so for some learners, it works fine. So, you know, you kind of have to find your own, you know, uh, learning style. And uh, it might be a little bit painful in the beginning, but it's worth it. Okay. Um, uh, Akiyama says, I uh, was looking at resources last night and tried out Yomi-chan. Okay. Uh -huh. Pretty cool uh, Chrome extension. I've I've heard of it. Mm, I've heard of it. Okay. Um, uh, the whole making up a story thing doesn't work for me. Mm, I know. Uh, mnemonics? Yeah. I mean, mnemonics, you know, uh, yeah, it works for a lot of people. Some For some people, it doesn't work. In you know, in that case, you might want to make your own mnemonics or, you know, figure out your own way of, you know, memorizing. Okay. Um, let's see who else. Um, okay, okay so Andrew Tanya, you often say that you make uh, you will make some files downloadable after the stream, in the before stream. Ah, okay, see, so, yeah. Um, right, Andrew. Uh, there's a reason for that. Um, I only make it downloadable after stream because sometimes I fix things later. You know, I always kind of make adjustments and I have to put like watermarks and things like that. And that actually takes more time. And uh, so that's why I kind of say it, uh, I, you know, I make it down downloadable and uh, I'll upload later. It's just like, okay, it's kind of convenient for me, uh, you know, in terms of like making adjustments and things like that and uh, give you, you know, give you better versions. Does, does it make sense? I don't want to give you like kind of, you know, half asked, you know, files. I mean, you know, some people might say, oh, it's fine. I like that. Uh, but like, you know, me, I used to be a perfectionist and like, I want to make it as good as possible, you know, uh, so you can benefit, you know, um, more. Um, so th that's why, okay. Uh, but I, 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 I know what you're saying, okay. Um, let me see. Um, <laughs> Jamshiru struggling. I know. Um, yeah, Akiyama. Uh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, Akiyama. Akiyama always kind of knows. <laughs> like, are you a mind reader? Uh, yeah, exactly what Akiyama says. Sometimes I add new things and it's easier for me to just like upload everything later, you know, maybe put it into like a folder uh, with relevant things and, uh, you know, give you like one link for it. Okay. Uh, Patrick, good. You're here. Good, good. I, I'm going to answer your questions shortly. Um, <laughs> a lot of emojis, I know. Um... Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, I might need to skip a little bit because I can't catch up with everything. Um, good. Building my own deck. Okay. Oh, mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Patrick, when you're, you know, using Anki or Brainscape, whatever, uh, just, just, uh, yeah, ha have like a limit on each deck. I think 50 is a good number on, you know, one deck, but if you do like, over 50 you get you know you, you just can't go through sometimes you forget and it's not very effective so you might want to keep it like 50 so it's it's more man manageable to go through you know when you have like let's say 10 15 minutes it's easy to go through um let's see yeah andrew i agree uh, a lot of people say that the uh, the more you know the easier it is to learn something new japanese included i totally agree with you andrew that's a very good one thanks for sharing that uh patrick um still a bit much i have separate words deck and a kanji deck mm, to 20 okay yeah J just start with patrick start with something that's manageable to you you know just if you think it's 24 you know it's fine with 24 it gets better you know over time okay um okay let's see yeah um 
yeah i know uh yeah i know i do i do prepare files but i make adjustments later too um let's see okay can you boot a camera Okay, uh, Patrick, Kotoshi no Natsu, Kotoshi no Natsu, I think Kotoshi no Natsu, Maji Atsui, Baka no Chiki Hondanka, okay, <laughs> good sonos. Uh, uh, I can't, uh, okay, good. And, uh, okay, jump to I finished if, uh, level three just a few days ago, and do you remember most of the script? I just skipped the whole story making of Kanji part. Yeah, just jump to uh, j just take the things. Uh, you know that works for you. You know things that work for you, and uh, you you don't have to um, pick everything. You don't have to take everything. Just just use what's good for you. Okay. Um, mm. I know. Yeah, it takes forever to review. Uh, you know, if you're learning a lot, I know. I know. It's just it's just a process. It gets easier later. Okay. Uh, Zaito, uh, avoid learning grammar. I can speak three languages at a high level and not one of them in required learning grammar for me. Um, I know, uh, but Japanese is different. <laughs> so, it, I mean, if you know grammar in Japanese, it helps a lot. It helps a lot to like uh, express yourself and understand. So, of course, you know, everyone's different. If it's not your thing, you know, uh, you might find something else, but grammar is like very important. I mean, for this language, okay. Um, Patrick, I think I know English grammar better than my native grammar. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, this happens. Like, yeah, my, me too. Like, English is my second language, but I know, uh, you know, English grammar very well. Uh, it's just because I learned it. Yeah. Anyway. And let's see, you guys are talking. Yeah. Mm, yeah, the yellow book is a good book. It is. Mm. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, Patrick, uh, Tycoon's grammar guide is kind of good for quick refre refreshes, but it's, it speed runs the whole grammar. It might not be as good for first time study. Yeah, uh, I haven't looked at Tycoon's uh, guide uh, like entirely. Uh, I had I heard good things about it, but uh, I uh, some people questioned, you know, uh, mm, his authority. <laughs> I don't. I can't say anything. Uh, but I don't think he's a teacher. Uh, that's all I can say. Okay. Um, anyway, I jump to do what I need now is free time to actually study more work. I know. Yeah. Managing your time is very important too. Mm, I know. Let's see. Yeah. Andrew, I, uh, yeah, Andrew, I like, I, I like what you're saying, Andrew. Uh, yeah. Grandma um yeah a lot of time can be hard but you can't avoid it all the time i was taught a lot of english grammar but most of uh, it is just muscle memory mm, from consuming video audio uh yeah it's yeah i i agree um <laughs> i can't my own yomi kun yomi getting ignored again yes <laughs> um Let's see. And Hechi, uh, I'll be honest, uh, Taikin's grammar guide is a bit overrated. Yeah, Hechi, that's what I've heard. Like, a, lot of my, a lot of my private students got so confused. But I haven't looked, uh, you know, I haven't looked through uh, Taikin's guide myself. But I think, it, you know, uh, a lot of English speakers like it because it's written in English. I think uh, maybe that's why it's getting a lot of attention. But I don't know about uh the content itself i i haven't even you know checked it um myself uh, but i'm sure like you know it's mostly good i hope uh but I, honestly i don't know um let me see andrew um mm, 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 so, 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 so. uh remembering the kanji is kind of old yeah i know it, it has a like kind of <laughs> it has mixed reviews i know um let's see can't go through everything um anyway i, I might have to kind of stop going through the chat okay i'm gonna go to the next question sorry i have <laughs> got a lot <laughs> um let's see okay oh my gosh i've only went through the first <laughs> section 
I'll see. Okay. Gonna go to the Patrick. Uh, Patrick's question. Okay. Uh, first question from Patrick. What's the difference between wakaru and shiru? Okay. In dictionaries, wakaru is defined as to understand, while shiru is to know. Okay. Uh, but I've seen wakaru used in context of uh, knowing or having watched, read, played, etc. Okay. Something like, uh, for example, Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars ga wakarimasu ka? Um, um, have you seen? Wakaru, wakaru is like, um, Mm, I know. Okay, one sec. Let me do. Let me just go through it. Have you seen Star Wars? Uh, it's not more. It's not seen more like a. Do you? Can you recognize it? Can do you know this kind of thing? Like, do you? You know, when I say, do you know which one it is? That kind of thing. Okay, it's not really about seeing. Of course, you know, maybe, um, the other person, you know, might have you know seen it, and then you know that you know, uh, connects to knowing it, yeah, sure. But, uh, um, let's see. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't care. Okay. This is, um, mm, this is a good question. And again, it depends on the context. Okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, on its own. Yeah. Wakaru, um, wakaru is to, to understand. Or well, like even like recognizing something, you know, you can acknowledge something. That's wakaru. Okay, shiru. Like if you use shiru, uh, of course, like in the uh, um, you know, most basic definition is to to know, but of course it, it should be used a bit differently, because if you use uh, shiru um, in the present tense, it actually means to find out. Okay, so that's why, you know, again, I need, I need some context when I explain something. So, um, and, uh, if you say, uh, if you say shiru in the past tense, shitta, like, it means like you, you found out. See what I mean? So depending on the sentence, of course, the meaning will change. Okay. So that's why it's really hard to define, you know, just like picking one word. Oh, what's shiru? To know. Uh... Okay, maybe not because, like you know, depending on how you use it, you know the nuances change. Okay, so um, if you want to use shiru as to know, um, you can do this. Okay, one sec. If you want to say, look, oh, I know this. I know this person. I know this. I know this game. I've heard of it before. Shitteru. Uh, well, shitteru is fine too. Um. Often, oftentimes we drop e, so shitteru o shitte imasu. One sec. Um. So, like, right now I'm gonna just focus on, like, knowing something, okay, because otherwise there are too many, <laughs> you know, as I said, you know, depending on how you use it, it changes the meaning, so uh, I'm gonna just only cover, okay. Like knowing something, okay. So, uh, shiteiru, uh, shiteimasu. Let me see when you want to say something or shiteru, something or shiteimasu. This, so, this is when you want to say, Oh, I, I know, I know that show. Uh, let me see, example, like, let me see, uh, bozaro, bozaro, uh, bochi the rock, bozaro, eh, shiteru. Okay, I know, I know, uh, you know, Bocci, you know, Bocci the Rock, for example. In that case, yeah, like, this means I know, okay? And, uh, you know, so, and of course, and if you want to use this in a question, then you can go, uh, Bozaro, uh, Bozaro shiteru, of course, you know, just, uh, you know, um, raise the inflection at the end, you know? But uh, yeah, if you use it like this, uh, it means like, oh, I know, I know the show, okay? And uh, if you want to make it formal, of course, it's shiteimasu. Bozaro wo shiteimasu. Okay, so, and then if you want to say, oh, I don't know. I don't know the show. The negative 
of that is actually it's not shitte inai, but we simply say shiranai. You mentioned that、um, earlier, but one sec. Shiranai or shirimasen. Okay. So be careful. Shitte iru, like when you know, you don't know a person, know a show, know the name of the show, things like that. You can use shitte iru or shitte imas. Okay. Um, be careful. The negative version of that, or you want to say, "Oh, I actually don't know this show. I don't know. I've never heard of it. I I don't actually know. I don't know what it is." Then it's shiranai. Okay, not shiteinai. I know it's a weird thing that we do in Japanese. We can't. You kind of have to get used to it. So that's why the context and background information is so important. You know, because it's not just about you know、uh, using. Shiru, but if you don't know how to say, oh, I know, you know,、uh, Bocchi the Rock,、uh, you know, we say it this way, you know, because since it's like related to your cognitive, you know,、uh, function,、uh, you know, oftentimes we use teiru for that. But be careful, the negative version is not teinai. This is like kind of weird exception that we we use. So if you say、um, Bozara wo shiranai. If you haven't seen, you know, Bocchi,、uh, you might say this.、Uh, who does? <laughs> and、uh, you know, so this one.、Um, let me see. The negative will be "o、oh, shirimasen." Okay. So "o、oh, shirimasen." So it's not "shitte inai." Uh, uh, yeah, "shirimasen" is the polite version. So, so "bozaru o shirimasen." Bozaro, I don't know. 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 Let me see. It is possible to say, but like, if I were you, I might say it differently. You could say it grammatically, but um, simply bozaro ga wakarimasen. Um, okay, one sec. I'm gonna change the color of that one. We go.、Um, sounds more natural in this case. Okay. So, um, Shana, so I don't know. I don't know. Um.、Uh, okay. And、uh, this is shitema. So this is a polite version. So I know this is、uh, it's polite. That one, okay. And um, so this is I don't know. But again, it's sorry. It's it's a the polite version. Okay. We go. Um. Yeah, like talking about like knowing something or understanding something, you can recognize something. It's actually kind of complicated in Japanese, you know. So、uh, it helps、um, if you learn with examples instead of just like focusing on one word or just like only focusing on one word. Sometimes you kind of have to look at the bigger picture. You know, oh, in this case, I can say this. In this case, I can't say this. You know, so then, you know, you don't even have to think about it anymore, okay?、Um, because the meaning actually changes. So if you say, "shiru," if you use "shiru" on its own, um, for example, tomorrow, 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 test no, result, result. 結果を
知るを、uh, you can also use 結果がわかる as well. Just as,、uh, let me see. You will find out the exam results. Okay, so、uh, 結果がわかる is maybe a little bit more common. がそれわかる This one. So, so both of them in this case, again, you know, they're two different words. Okay,、uh, so, 明日 tomorrow, テストの結果 results, 結果を So, this one I used to s h i t on its own. Okay, and guess what? The meaning is different. So, this is like, I'll find out. I will know. So if you use shiru on its own in the present tense, it, it's like to know, but you will know. That's what it means, okay? I will find out or I will know. Okay, that's why the context is really important instead of just focusing on one word. If you don't see you know, what's behind it before it, you know,、um, then the meaning is lost, okay? I'll find out.、Um, Uh, the uh, exam results tomorrow.、Okay. In, yeah, I will find out. I will know is fine too, but it's more like if you use shiru on its own in the present tense, you will know. You will find out. That's what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, I know the results already. If you want to see, oh, I already know the results, then, shiteru. Kekka o shiteru. Okay? So, tatoeba. えっと、テストの結果を知っている。So, if you say, oh, I, I know the,、uh, you know, I know my test results already, then you will say 知っている and not 知る because if you use 知る in the present tense, it talks about the future. Okay? I will find out. So, if you say テストの結果を知っている、normally we say more, like already. So, I already know, you know, the、uh, exam results, test results. Okay.、Um, so, you see, it's, it's the same word, but like depending on how you use it, in what context, it just changes completely, you know? Of course, it stems from like, she do like to know, but like it's not just that. You know, if you want to say, oh, I, 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 I already know the.、Uh, I know the results already. So then, like, you know, it's used this way. Shiteiru or shiteru.、Um, oftentimes we drop it. This, okay.、Uh, but if you want to say, oh,、uh, I, I actually, I'll find out tomorrow. Then it's in the present tense. Of course, shiru or shirimasu is also fine too. Masu form for present tense. And、uh, here, wakaru. I know we can actually use it interchangeably like this, but be careful the particle is different. Okay, this means exact same thing. Okay, so it's, this, is not, this is not understanding. Okay, again, you have to know what you can say in a certain situation. This is how you learn it, especially for something complicated like this. You have to learn with examples, you have to understand the circumstance, you have to understand the situation you can use it in. Okay, so otherwise, if you just learn one word, oh, it, it says to know.、Uh, Mm, how do I use it? You know, knowing the differences, you know, is so important. Okay? So, yeah, 明日テストの結果がわかる This is more common in this case. Okay? This is more common. But I just wanted to show you the,、uh, you know, present tense example to, sh to show how different it is. Okay?、Um, different、uh, from. This okay,、mm. uh, yeah, talking about knowing something, understanding something is very complicated. One sec, so and then, um, yeah, of course, you know, uh, wakaru, um, is often used, you know, uh, to say, oh, I, I, I understand this, yeah, sure, that's also fine too. Uh, so when I say, when I explain something, for example, like, oh, do you understand wakaru? That's a very common thing to say, you know, wakaru or wakarimasu ka. You know, and if you understand, oh, wakaru, wakarimasu. That's fine, you know. So,、uh, wakaru on its own, of course, you know, if you respond like that,、uh, it means like to understand something, okay? 
Uh, but uh, uh, let's see. And then you're asking, uh, what about wakaru as to know? Okay, let me see. Nani ga wakaru? Yeah, this is more like, um, let me see. Yeah, you use it like something ga wakaru. Uh, wakaru is, oft, you know, uh, always used with the particle ga, you know. It comes with it, okay, uh, if you have something before it. So, um, nani nani ga wakaru? Of course, it means a lot of different things. You know, if you say, um, I just list examples, okay? So if you say, uh, let's see, um, kantana, kantana, easy, kantana kanji ga wakaru, for example. Okay? You always need um, examples instead of just picking one thing, okay? Always learn with examples. So, um, Something ga wakaru. Okay, one example is kantana, so easy. Kantana kanji. Easy kanji. Kantana kanji ga wakaru. So, kantana kanji ga wakaru. To understand, you can recognize it. Uh, and also, you know, knowing what they are too. So, it's kind of mixed. So, kantana kanji ga wakaru. So, you know, of course, you, you could say, I understand. Or, I know it's fine too because that's kind of, you know, similar. You you understand them and you know them, you know. Uh, you know or I can recognize, uh, you name it, okay. Um, easy kanji, for example, okay. So, something ga wakaru. Yeah, you can use it like this. So, if you want to say, oh, I understand this. I know this. I recognize uh, easy kanji. I recognize or I understand easy Grammar, kanta na bunpo ga wakaru, so on and so forth. Okay, you can use that, and uh, and also like talking about. Okay, do you know? Do you know this? Uh, do you know? Uh, just tatoeba ja um wakaru. Um, let me see. Um, mm, when I'm talking about, let's see, you know, uh, a particular show, let's say Bungo Stray Dogs. <laughs> I talk about Bungo Stray Dogs all the time. Okay, so when I say uh uh. Uh, when I talk about bungo stray dogs, I'm talking, 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 and say, uh, bunsto wakaru, like, do you know the show? Um, yeah, I can say that too. Um, yeah, bunsto, um, uh, this is, uh, the shortened form of uh, bungo stray dogs. Um, let me see, bunsto or bunsto ga wakaru. It's not like understanding, but you were like, can you, you know, do, do you know it? Like, you know, uh, if I say it, do you, can you recognize the name? You know, that kind of thing, you know? Um, so, uh, can you acknowledge it? You know? Bunsto ga wakaru. So if I say, bunsto ga wakaru, bunsto wakaru. Like, oh, do you know it? So this this one just means, oh, do you know it? Can you recognize the name of the show? That's what it means, okay? So, um, so Bungo, uh, you know, uh, Stray Dogs, BSD, um, more like, can you recognize the name? When I say the name, can you recognize it? That's what it means. That's wakaru, okay? Um, Wakaru. <laughs> Do you understand that? Okay. Um, so, let me see. Can you recognize um, cool, sorry. the name? Yeah, when it comes to, um, you know, cognitive systems and functions in Japanese, it's always complicated. But, like, you learn with examples. Learn with examples. So when you want to say, you know, oh, do you know uh, Bungo Stray Dogs? Bunsto, bunsto ga wakaru. Or you can say, uh, bunsto shiteru. You know, you can use this. You know, something o shiteru. O shite imasu ka? Um, if you want to say, do you know this? Um, but yeah, here in this, it doesn't mean, do you understand? Or it could be, could be taken as, do you understand if I say bungo stray dogs, you know, or bunsto, you know, do you know what it means kind of thing, you know? 
So I uh, so that's that. Okay, but of course, wakaru in general, it's like, oh, if I say wakaru, you know, meaning, do you understand or did you understand what I just explained? You know, and if you want to respond, oh, yeah, wakaru, wakaru, oh, wakarimasu, I understand, you know, that's a kind of quick answer too. And it, but in that case, it means, oh, I understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to write everything here because I'm answering them here. So let's see. And uh, let me see. Heard the uh, answering. Um, sounds like I don't know. I don't care. I uh, yeah. Let me see. Hmm. Um, Let me see. Sounds like I don't know, and I don't care. Let me see. Um. Okay. So in this case, let me see. If I. Okay. This is person A. So let me see. Um, konsumatsu. Konsumatsu nani wo suru? For example. What you what are you doing this weekend? For example, konsumatsu this weekend. Nani wo suru? So what are you doing? Or do you, you know what are you going to do? What are you going to do this weekend? Doesn't give me uh one sec. Let me just do this one by one in case you can't read it. Uh so konsu konsu this week matsu end in this case konsumatsu Says sueba, it's matsu, means end. Konsumatsu nani wo suru? What what you what are you doing this weekend? What you're gonna do this weekend? And let's say it's a, it's a conversation. Okay, so let's see. Um, so B person number B, person number person B. Konsumatsu nani wo suru? And then if you answer shiranai, it sounds very cold. So don't do it. Okay, the right answer to this. And if you don't know. What you are doing? Wakaranai. Or even better, if you say, Mada wakaranai, I don't know yet. So, yeah, again, it, it doesn't mean I don't understand. But this means, like, oh, I don't know yet. So, again, depending on the context, it's just the meaning changes. So, you kind of have to learn, you know, with the examples. I don't know yet. Okay, this is what it means. Okay, if you answer with shiranai, sounds very cold, a little bit rude, like, huh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, like, you know, who cares, kind of thing. So, okay, that's a bit rude, isn't it? So, uh, you know, if you're in a conversation like this, konsumatsu nani wo suru, sorry, konsumatsu nani wo suru, what are you doing this weekend? Um, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'll say, yeah, sorry. Um, I can't be bothered to type everything. Uh, and then, you know, you're like, oh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, this is the right answer. Mada wakaranai. Or you can say, mada wakarimasu is a little bit weird because I assume that you're talking to a friend. Okay. So in a conversation like this, you know, asking for plans, you know, it tells me that you're talking to somebody close or somebody, you know, who is more like a friend, okay? So that's why I'm just writing it, uh, you know, in a casual form. Of course, if you want to make it formal, nani wo shimasu ka? It's the right way. And uh, if you want to answer um, politely, then mada wakarimasen. Okay? But I'm not going to write everything because I have a lot to go through. I, I, I try my best to go through everything, okay? Well, as much as possible. Okay, and so that's it, Patrick. I know, like, you know, I'm not going through every single, uh, you know, shiru, uh, wakaru, but uh, just giving you, like, you know, uh, kind of common, uh, you know, examples, uh, you know, common usage, uh, usages uh, here. And, uh, okay, so here, uh, Patrick says, um, let me see, is, is it true that wakaru is used in a context of asking someone uh, mm, let me see. Uh, if they've seen somewhere a thing that we've lost, and look, okay. Mm. I've lost my phone, and while searching for it, I, uh, I'm asking friend, hey there, have you seen my phone? It's more like, uh, if you think about it, in Japanese, we don't say everything. You know, we are kind of mind readers, okay? Um, so... What's implied here is like, watashi no kietai ga doko ni aru ka wakaru? Um, <laughs> okay, this is what's implied. Okay, 
Do you know where my phone is? That's, <laughs> that's what it means, okay? So, 私の携帯、携帯、like mobile phone, cell phone、uh, がどこにあるか、どこにあるか、um, it's a question clause. 私の携帯がどこにあるか、where my phone is. わ、uh, かる ?So, do you know where my phone is? That's what it means, okay?、Um, Instead of saying, do you know my phone? Like, I, I don't know your phone. Like, <laughs> you know?、Uh, so it's more like, do you know where? Do you know where my phone is? Like, do you know where, where it went?、Um, that's what it means. Okay. So, yeah, in Japanese, we don't say everything. So, because otherwise、uh, it gets too long, huh? It's like, oh my gosh, you know,、uh, as you can see, like my stream, like, you know, I, I basically trying to, trying to say a lot, <laughs> and this is what happens. Oh, I completely forgot about this one. So, yeah,、uh, Akiyama, your streams,、uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for saying this. I, I totally forgot to talk about this, but、uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, reaching 1k,、uh, tell everyone, okay?、Uh, anyway, um let's see, trying to, trying to go through as much, okay? And、uh, let's see. And then the third question、uh, to both Tainan and Tainan Sensei and Chat:、uh, Any recommendations for manga anime games for、uh, folks with yeah,、uh, um, Japanese,、uh, basic Japanese? Okay.、Uh, sometimes read Kabe no Ana on Satori, Satori,、uh, Satori Reader,、uh, though it's not the most ex- exciting story. I'm able to more or less understand what's going on before. Let me, let me just move this one sec. One sec, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, the page cuts off. So, um, yeah, okay. Um, it's not the most exciting story. I'm able to more or less understand what's going on before checking the translations. Hmm, but Karakai Jozo no Takagi san, hmm, I'm able to、uh, sorry, understand like five percent of what they're talking about. Mm. Uh, I know、um, I know the frustration. Like, you want to kind of you know, skip、um, everything. Don't worry about this. I'll just <laughs> bring this.、Uh, this is for later, you know, for a later question. So,、um, I know, like, of course, you know, it will be nice to, you know,、uh, use some kind of like, you know, media, you know, stories and manga, anime, and I magically understand everything. Of course, it's not going to happen. You know,、uh, I recommend using、um, like, you know, games. Games are a little bit hard. You know, of course, you know, I, in my streams, I decided to do super simple games, but still, like, I need to assist. You know, I, I need to give you more like guided, you know, explanations. So,、uh, you know, I'm happy to maybe do、uh, play some like, you know, Dragon Quest builders and things like that, you know, in the future. Right now, you know, playing、uh, Animal Crossing. But, uh, uh, you know, I try to be, you know, selective to what games I can introduce and,、uh, you know, use、uh, to teach. But,、uh, yeah, maybe forget about games for now. Uh, and uh,、um, let me see. Anime and manga. Okay, manga is always hard. But、uh, my private students kind of start reading more. Uh, media, uh, you know,、uh, articles and like easy, simple articles after learning、uh, N4, after covering、uh, the N4 level、uh, vocab and grammar, it makes it so much easier if you, if you can cover both N5 and N4, it's more efficient. You know, then you're kind of ready to pick up new. You know, vocab and grammar, and、uh, you know, start testing your you know, reading skills and things like that.、Um, you know, of course, you know, with graded readers,、uh, you know, they consider your level, so it's a little bit easier, but it could be boring, of course. It is、um, my neck, <laughs> sorry, when I, when I shake it in a certain way. Uh, it doesn't, yeah, I don't like it. So it, it bounces, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not looking.、Um, so, yeah.、Um, yeah, of course, you know, you, you want to kind of start 
reading you know manga and you know watch anime with our subs and things like that um i recommend doing that after going through n4 so of course in n5 and n4 um then you will understand more um you will be able to pick up new things it's not frustrating anymore you know of course you're not gonna understand 100 percent. you know even at that level maybe you will be like maybe 40 percent you know 45 percent still it's good you know you get to like understand like some of it it's wonderful you know then it gets better uh because you're picking up new you know expressions and words um so uh, if you want to read manga and, uh, you know, start, um, you know, watching anime uh, properly, uh, you know, going through N5, N4 first uh, is more efficient than anything, okay? And it's more fun because you get motivated because, you know, oh, if you go through this tough, you know, uh, you know stage, you get to start and, you know, you get to um, play games or simple games or, you know, watch anime, you know, start reading some manga. It's got to be, you know, you've got to be selective. Um, I don't, I don't recommend using Yotsubato, by the way. I, a, a, a lot of people say Yotsubato is good. I, I, I question it. It's not, it's not really good uh, manga for, uh, you know, that level. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, and also, you know, of course, you know, I did mention, let me see, let me just switch my screen, you know, like, you know, here, um, you know, I said like, you know, entertainment here, but in this case, you know, uh, this is more like kind of like a secondary thing. It's not going to be your primary thing, but, uh, you know, the, the whole purpose of like including, including this section, uh, is that. Uh, like you know it will keep you motivated that's the first thing you know that's the like um that's why i you know made this little section here it's not gonna be the main source of learning or practicing it's gonna be just like there to keep you motivated that's a really big thing okay you might not be able to learn as efficiently you know, as using I know or like, you know, books like this, you will be actually learning more using, you know, a book like this or using, you know, I know you, you get to pick up more words. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the point of having this entertainment section is that you don't want to just study, 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 study and uh, get burnt out and give up. You know, you don't want that. You want to have you want to have a reason to continue. That's why, you know, I say, oh, you, you know, just find good songs, you know, find anime you like. You don't have to understand anything, but give yourself a reason. Give you a reason to study, you know. Uh, later, it gets easier. You know, later, you will be able to understand more entertainment content, but not now, okay? So, uh, but this is more for, you know, motivation, okay? Um, of course, it is frustrating and you're like, oh, I'm listening to some podcast and like, I don't understand a word. This is a common problem. Don't worry about it. You know, uh, if I were you, just focus on, you know, learning super basic vocab first, you know, trying to go through, um, you know, N5 and N4 and, um, you know, super basic things first they make it makes it so much easier like when you you know when you watch uh like real native material you know uh, uh like you know anime or like when you read articles and things like that um soon i will like introduce more like reading you know like um you know practice too but you know of course you know <laughs> i have a lot to do so anyway so i'm gonna switch um my screen here okay there we go so, 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 so. but i understand your frustration this is a common thing but it, it, it gives you a reason to you know learn more and study more um anyway so that's that okay uh yeah but keep, yes satori uh satori reader is, is a really good app for uh you know um reading you know practicing reading uh try also using uh you know tadoku as well if you want to do that um but you know um at this stage don't worry about you know like you know reading 
stories that are not interesting or entertaining. But uh, you kind of have to see it this way. Okay, if you can understand it, isn't it amazing? You know, even though, okay, the story might be crap. I know, like, it's supposed to be crap and basic. And like, okay, it's not going to be, you know, uh, it's not going to be, you know, a, a box office hit. Okay, we don't expect that. But see it differently. Like, okay, if you, if you understand, you know, this, uh, you know, story um, uh, without... You know, looking up, isn't it great? Like, don't you enjoy that process? Hey, I, I I like that. I don't have to look it up, you know. Even though the story is like super basic and I, you know, it's, it doesn't interest me. It's not as exciting as you know, uh, Bocci. Um, of course, it's not gonna be epic. It's not gonna be you know, um, it's not gonna be fun in the beginning. But like, you have to see it differently. You know, enjoy the process. Like, you know, it, it, it's amazing. It is amazing to be able to actually understand a story, you know, without looking up. You know, oh, actually, I know this word. I know this word. I know this word. You know, that's a great thing. Enjoy that part instead of looking for, like, more engaging, you know, en entertaining content right now. You will be able to get there, you know, when you, you know, when you master you know, almost master, you know, N, N4 uh, and N5, you know, level grammar points and vocab. Okay, let me uh, have a sip. <laughs> One sec. I know my neck goes crazy when I drink um, tea because um, it can't recognize my movement. Anyway, um, so that's that, I know, uh, you will get there, don't worry, Patrick, as, you know, as long as you keep going, you know, of course, you know, um, especially, you know, where you're at right now, it, it's frustrating, you're like, oh, can I, can I, you know, start reading more interesting things, can I read blogs, mm, the answer is, you know, no for now, okay, but it will uh, get interesting later. You you will be able to consume it, you know, uh, more entertaining, you know, uh, content later. Okay, so it's gonna be like a boot camp for now. Okay, but enjoy the process instead. Okay, um, see it that way and see, uh, you know, if that helps. Okay, let's see. And a hedgy uh, right here. Okay, and. Uh, so some cultural uh, okay there's a question uh you like kimono and hakama okay like to visit uh hanabi festival uh in the future while wearing a man's kimono mm -hmm. but i have noticed uh, mixed reactions uh from japanese natives about foreigners wearing their traditional clothing uh participating participating in their traditions uh does the population think more negatively or positively about uh, foreigners participating in their traditions and do elderly people tend to be more negative about it or the younger generation okay good, good question very good question um let's see let me just uh okay one sec uh where's my where's my file there we go i might need to uh this way sorry um too much okay um i i mean i mean it's gonna be my you know personal opinion like of course you know i can't um you know i can't speak for everyone else but for me like i would love to see you wearing you know a man's kimono like you know that would be so cool i out this makes me happy but of course you know you can't please everyone you know some people like, you know, say something negative, or they might look at you like, oh, uh, it's not right. Fine, like, uh, let them say whatever they want, you know? It's fine, like, it, you like it, you enjoy it, you know? Like, nobody should be offended by that. It's your choice, isn't it? Okay? And uh, of course, you know, like, uh, some people might be funny. Uh, who cares? Don't worry. It's just... <laughs> some people are, you know, sad, and... Uh, you know, fine, you know, it's, it happens, it just happens, we can't please everyone, uh, but I think most people love it, most people will be, 
you know impressed and uh, you know they they you know they they uh they will be of course you know they they might look surprised i think it's just more like they might look surprised and they might not know how to react i think that's what you know that's what happens and then maybe uh you know these reactions could be simply just misunderstood you know it's not that they're reacting negatively i don't think so i would be happy to see you know, Hechi, uh, you know, wearing a kimono, this, you know, this, you know, men's kimono, that, that's really cool. It's like, wow, you know. Um, well, it's partially because um, even now, like, you know, uh, young people or even like everyone in Japan don't really wear, you know, kimonos anyway. So, you know, if I see a Japanese lady wearing a kimono, like, you know, uh, on the street, I might be surprised, like, okay, you know, she, she's a, she's a native, you know, Japanese speaker, and she's a native, you know, Japanese, and like, you know, if I see a Japanese lady wearing kimono, all of a sudden, like, oh, is, is there a festival, is there anything special going on, I might be, just, you know, a little bit surprised too, so it's not, it's not just, you know, uh, you know, you wearing, you know, a kimono, hakama, um, it's totally fine, like, you don't, you don't need to worry about it, okay, um, I would love to see, <laughs> I think it's really cool, you know, but don't, don't worry about, you know, if you hear somebody saying, ah, maybe, you know, uh, non-Japanese people shouldn't wear this and that, like, you know, they, they have no right to say that, you know, it's just like, it's such, such a mean thing to say to somebody who is trying to appreciate the culture, you know? Um, so don't worry about it. I, I, I would love to see, you know, Heji and everyone else wearing, you know, a kimono. And, I, you know, I, I think it's cool, you know? Of course, it, maybe I'm biased and, uh, you know, I'm speaking from my, you know, subjective, uh, you know, point of view. But, like, why not? Like, you know, people come and visit Japan. And we can't stop them. And uh, we can't say no. That's mean. You know, we got to be open to everyone. So, um, of course, yeah, my answer is that, you know, why not? You know, of course. And also, we can't please everyone. So, that's, that's you know. Uh, you know, yeah. Some elderly people might say, oh, oh. You know, they're just surprised. They are surprised to see something unusual. We are not if we are not used to seeing something unusual. We just get surprised and we do, we don't know what to do. <laughs> so I think that's what probably happens. So uh, yeah, I, I'll say go ahead and don't hesitate. You know, appreciate the culture and share it. And uh, you know, I'm sure people love it. Okay. Um, okay, let's see the next one. Um. Number two, uh, what's the difference between uh, so, mitai, and yo? Um, it's like saying something seems so looks like something. Okay, okay, sure. Um, okay, so, 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 so. <laughs> uh, it's a joke. Um, so, uh, so you have very similar sentences here. Okay, uh, yuki ga furu so desu. Okay, and yuki ga uh, furu yo desu. And yuki ga furu mitai desu, okay? Uh, and uh, it looks like it's going to snow, okay, okay. So the uh, the meaning why it's not gonna differ too much, okay. Um, okay, the first one. Yuki ga furu so desu. So this is not your opinion, okay? When you use something, something, so desu. It, it's based on like, um, like what you've heard. You know, you've heard, like, let's say, like, um, on TV, or, you know, uh, you just saw, uh, in, like, a weather forecast, you know, and you've heard, or you've, uh, like, watched, um, or maybe somebody just told you, you know, uh, seems like it's gonna, you know, snow, um, maybe you, you know, your, your friend, uh, can predict, you know, the weather. <laughs> and then, this is not like the first hand information. This is gonna be always like second hand information. Okay? So you don't know it first hand. Okay, so like kinda, you know. 
uh, this is like the information you got from someone else. Okay, uh, it could be uh, on the radio, it could be on the internet, it could be uh, uh, like a Yahoo uh, weather. Uh, you don't use Yahoo. Nobody uses Yahoo anymore. Uh, in Japan, Yahoo is pretty big though. Like we still use Yahoo uh, in Japan. Uh, anyway, um, uh, rest in peace, Yahoo. Um, so yeah, so it's based on what you've heard, watched. Maybe somebody told you. You know, that's when you use so. And yuki ga furu yo desu. And the, the uh, second and third one, uh, very similar. Yuki ga furu yo desu. Yuki ga furu mitai desu. Okay. Um, this is a little bit more, um, this is not really spoken. We don't really say yuki ga furu yo desu. Um, sounds a little bit on, uh, it's more on the formal side of it. Yuki ga furu yo desu, uh, you know, more kind of official sounding. Uh, yuki ga furu mitai desu, uh, meaning was it doesn't really change, uh, but uh, this is more kind of commonly said in speaking. So yuki ga furu mitai. Yuki ga furu mitai desu. Okay? And also it's based on your uh, perception as well. Okay? Uh, so very similar. Maybe it is the exact same situation. But uh, um, yeah, so if you use uh, yuki ga furu so desu, uh, it's mostly, you know, uh, based on what you heard from somebody, you watched, you know, and it's not your first, you know, it's not your like first hand kind of you know, experience or information. Um, yeah, furu yo desu, furu mitai desu. A quick answer, they're very similar. This is more uh, common in speaking, okay? Your, compared to that, it's not very common in speaking. It sounds a little bit more like kind of official, formal. Um, let me see. Uh, could you please explain why some sentences end in she? Heard it multiple times. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, for that, I need to switch screens. Um, so, and, and, or. Okay, one sec. Okay, here we go. This is what, what it is. So, let me just start. Here we go. I know this is from a really big file. I kind of showed like a like a little preview, you know, a while ago. It's part of it. Okay, so uh, let me go to the uh, the specific point, which is this. Okay, so this happens when we uh, uh, when we list reasons. Okay, I'll show you some examples, Sanders. Um. So my Yufi sentence here. So Yufi wa. So Yufi is my cat. Uh, Yufi wa. Mai nichi yoku taberu shi. See, she is right there. Um, asobu kara. Therefore, genki. Okay. So I'm listing reasons for Yufi wa genki. Yufi is healthy. Yufi is energetic, full of energy. So I want to prove my point that you feel genki and I want to list reasons for that. Okay, so then this is what I do. I can, I can continue. And if I want to, you know, say and if I want to continue, I can keep saying shi shi shi. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I kept it a little bit short here. Uh, uh, if I want to say that, it's fine. And then you want to have kara, asobu kara. Um, uh, you know, she, uh, let me see. Um, yeah, so, taberu shi, asobu kara, genki. Okay, so, uh, Yufi eats a lot and plays Every day, so she is healthy. Okay. Um, so let me let me just check something. I need to fix my monitor. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, I, I'm still a little bit <laughs> traumatized. Um, you know, 
especially if 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 the stream goes long, <laughs> I just kind of have to double check, double check my monitors. Okay, it's still on. Okay, sure. Sorry about this. Um, okay, when I switch things around, I need to keep checking. Okay, my mic is still on. Okay, sure. Sometimes like I worry. Um, anyway, so going back. Okay, so she she. Uh, as I said, yeah, when you're listing reasons. You can have she, and yeah, as I said, you, you can keep going with she, 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 okay? First, I will just show you how we normally use and uh, also get to the point where, you know, like we end with she, okay? But I need to still explain, you know, how we actually con construct sentences using she. Okay, so let's see. Very common kind of uh, sentence is like this. Okay, so I want to say that ano mise wa and i want to say ninki ga aru ah ninki popular ninki ga aru means it's popular you know so i, I want to say the reason you know i want to state the reason why it's popular and this is how you do it ano mise wa oishi shi oishi and uh eki ni chikai shi close to the station and yasui cheap Kara, therefore, ninki garu, it's popular. So the, that restaurant is good, close to the station. And, you know, you get to list reasons, okay? Um, but she on its own doesn't mean and, but yeah. Um, of course, you know, you're listing reasons, like, oh, this and this and this. Sure, it's, it could be translated as and, but it, not always, you know. This is fine just because you are explaining you know, the reasons why it's popular, okay? In this case, anomise wa, so that restaurant or that shop, uh, in this case, I'm talking about a restaurant, so anomise wa oishii shi, it's delicious, you know, it tastes good, eki ni chikai shi, eki, station ni chikai, close to the station, yasui. So three things I wanted to list. So the first two will take shi shi. So oishi shi, eki ni chikai shi. And if you want to continue, yasui shi. Okay, maybe you don't want to list too many things. Okay, yasui kara ninki garu. It's popular. Okay, and uh, some other examples. Let me see. So if I want to say nihon wa, oh, sorry, I, I want to say why I like Japan, why I love living in Japan, or why I like why I like Japan, uh, you know, okay, so in this case, Nihon wa benri, benri da shi, benri is a uh, adjective, so this happens, okay, benri da shi, sumiyasui, sumiyasui, easy, easy to live, uh, kara daisuki, yeah, Nihon wa benri da shi, sumiyasui kara daisuki, okay, and of course, you know, feel free to keep going, but, uh, you know, stick to uh, the rules, you know, here, to you know depending on what you're using you know you've sometimes you've got to be careful with this extra da okay and um let me see so so here uh, talking about like let's say my dad so i want to say my dad is healthy my dad is healthy but i want to list reasons why he's healthy so otosan wa so my dad osake Osake mo nomanai shi, tabako mo suwanai. I want to say, like, oh, uh, he, he doesn't drink or smoke. So both are, like, kind of negative. Uh, um, I mean, nai nai. And I don't mean, like, it's, it has a negative connotation. Osake mo nomanai shi, tabako mo suwanai kara. So uh, he, 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 does, uh, he doesn't do any of these. So osake mo nomanai shi. Tabako mo suwanai. If I want to continue, suwanai shi. And I can, I can still keep going, but make sure you have kara, uh, you know, after the last reason. And I can go healthy. Okay. So, and then the, the, going to the question that Heji asked is actually this. Okay. It's common to omit, uh, sorry, it's common to omit the ending when it's obvious. Okay. When it's obvious, I, I don't even... I don't even have to say kara, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, ano misa oishi shi, eki ni chikai shi, yasui. Sometimes it's just like, we can just feel, you know, feel the gaps uh, in our head. As I said, Japanese people are mind readers. Okay, this is the um, answer. Okay. Um, of course, if you want to see, 
a fuller, you know, uh, sentence, it is implied, okay? Or you could say, um, ano mise wa ah, sugoku ninki ga aru. And then you follow it uh, with like, oishi shi, eki ni chikai shi, yasui kara. That's also fine too. If you want to do that, if you want to kind of add, you know, reasons later, that's also fine too. Uh -uh. So, oishi shi, eki ni chikai shi. And you can end it like this too. Okay? That's what you're hearing, I think. Okay? Um, yeah. Oishi shi, eki ni chikai shi, yasui shi. And you, if you end it like that, it's fine too. You know, it's kind of free. You know, we're pretty flexible. And let's see. So, nihon wa benri da shi, benri convenient. Sumiyasui. Nihon wa benri da shi, sumiyasui. I don't even have to say kara daisuki. You know, if I think that the context provided is enough, you know, nihon wa benri da shi, sumiyasui shi, and you can keep going and end with shi if you want, or just end with an adjective if you, if you want, okay? Um, so that's what you uh, uh, that's what you are asking. Okay, <laughs> so I can't even I, my brain doesn't function. Uh, uh, anyway, so that's that. Okay, so let's see. Let me go back. Sorry, I'm, I I I can't even go through the chat. Uh, you guys help yourself. Okay. Um, so, 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 so let me go through as much as possible. Okay, I might not be able to cover everything. And uh, so this one is, I think is for later. Yeah, I know it's three pages. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, and uh, so yeah, this one I I I I didn't get the name. So if you are if you're in the chat, reveal yourself. And it says I heard a lot. Uh, toyu huni toyu huni is N two. So you might not want to even learn this yet if you don't know. Um, if you are not familiar with. Uh, let's say N5, N4, N3. Maybe this is a bit too early if you are not at that level. Okay, this is N3. Ah, sorry, N2, sorry. This is N2. So you might want to avoid that. Okay. Hoga is pretty easy to explain. Let me see. Used in oral speech. Uh, what do they mean? Toyuhu ni. Let me, I will just give you some examples. Okay. So toyuhu ni. It says like, you know, it's written as kaze, but it's not kaze. Okay. It's hu ni. Um... Let me see. Harewa. Doshoka. Koyu hu ni. One sec. Toyu hu ni. More common ones. Koyu hu ni. Just one sec. Koyu hu ni is more common. Instead of. Instead of toyu ni, I prefer using koyu ni. Um, kare wa koyu ni, je tatoeba, um, to, ah, tata penji o suru shoka. Tatoeba yoku. Koyu ni henji o suru. And then let me compare it. Uh, ko henji o suru. Maybe easier to see examples. Oh. Let me see. Okay. So um okay, let's see. Uh I have I have two example sentences. I'm not using this exactly, but I'm using something very similar. Okay. Uh, it has like, you know, you huni. But this is more common than toyu. Toyu huni is a little bit limited, actually, in my opinion. Actually, I don't use it myself. So, but uh, koyu hu ni is like actually more common than toyu hu ni. So that's I that's why I'm just using a different example here. Uh, so don't you know don't be mad. Okay. Um. Okay, it's very uh in interesting to compare the two sentences. They're very similar. So if I go from this one, um, let me see. Kare wa yoku often ko like this. Henji o suru, henji o suru to respond or to reply. So if you are talking about like a, you know, like an anime character responding like, hi, 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 like this, you know, like no emotion, you know, hi, like this. Uh, the character from maybe uh, Yamada-kun, um, 
山田君とレベル999の、えー、恋。If you know that one, you know, he, he talks like, はい、はい、like, you know, no emotion. So, like, you know, if, you, if you're talking about like a character, you know,、uh, you know, who responds in a really weird way,、uh, 彼はよく後編をする。He often responds like this. So, responds like this. Oh, um, well, this could be taken as he,、uh, sorry, often, often, often,、uh, responds like this, or、uh, you could say、uh, this way as well. Like, okay, so, Kareo Yuk Ko, Ko is like, like this way, you know, this manner, like this. So, Kareo Yuk Ko, Henji or Suru. And if you compare to this one, it's very similar to what this is. Okay. こういうふうに It's more like, of course, it's very similar to like this. But this means that、um, it's slightly less accurate. Okay. In terms of accuracy, this is more like, oh, yeah, he responds this way. You know, so it's more kind of like very close to, let's say, 100%. Okay. But, こういうふうに kind of softens it. That's what it is. Okay.、Um, in such a way that,、uh, but it's softer. Okay. こういうふうに返事をする Of course, talking about, okay, this guy says, hi, 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 with no emotions.、Uh, こういうふうに返事をする Saying that, okay, it's not. Like an accurate representation, but it's, it's close enough. Okay. But a core is a little bit closer than that. Okay. So、uh, that's all I can say for now. But Toyu Huni is N2, so you might want to wait、okay, if your level is not that advanced yet. Okay. Taho、uh, ga Let me see this one.、Um, this one is more like、uh, giving advice or suggestions. So、uh, verb ta、uh, form. Let's see. When you're suggesting something,、um, let me see. Tato eba. So, eh, to, my nichi. Undo shita ho ga i. So, undo shita、um, ho ga i. Okay. So, my nichi every day. Undo, undo suru to exercise. So, my nichi every day frequency word. Um, is to this is to exercise, to work out. Um, here we go. Um, so, um, do suru is to exercise. Okay. I exer- I'm exercising pretty much every day now.、Uh, my body hurts. <laughs> It feels good though. Uh, so, okay. Um, do suru. Past tense. Undo shita. Okay. This form,、uh, this pattern always takes the ta form, a casual past tense. You know,、uh, you know, we went through verb conjugation before. So hopefully you're familiar. If you're not,、uh, please watch my、um, verb conjugation you know, stream archive.、Uh, this will, you know, that will explain why、uh, suru changes to shita. Okay, suru is an ir- irregular. Verb and a past tense, casual past tense is shita. So, this、uh, pattern always takes the ta form. Okay, so, my nichi undo shita ho ga i. If you are saying this to, like, you know, to your friend, it's more like a suggestion. So, my nichi undo shita ho ga i. Or if you're just telling yourself, oh, maybe I, I should, you know, I should exercise every day, you know, you're just kind of telling yourself. Okay, so of course, you know, I'm not gonna write the translation、uh, be- because you know, it depends on, depends on the context. If you're telling somebody, hey, you know, maybe, maybe you should、uh, exercise every day, you know, kind of suggestion or advice. And if you're telling this to yourself, gosh, yeah, I need to exercise. It's better for me to exercise every day. So it depends on the context. Okay, I'll just say、um, advice. Or suggestion.
So if I'm telling, let's see, like a friend who never exercises, I might say, 毎日運動した方がいいよ <laughs> Okay, 毎日 will be too much, but like, you know, uh, 運動した方がいいよ You know, I might say, oh yeah, maybe, maybe you should, you know, exercise. Um, anyway. So that's that. Um, did I answer it? Okay. And 家庭や家族 Uh, in case you can't read it, let me see. This is 家庭 and 家族家族,家族 family. Let's see. I translated almost the same way. Don't worry about this. Don't worry. I will bring this book. This is a book suggestion that I wanted to make for Stig's. It's coming, okay? Let me just、uh, do this. Okay, we go. And Kate and Kazuku are translated almost the same way,、uh, but、uh, they do have a little bit of different meanings.、Uh, when each of them can should be used. Okay. Okay, I know that they can be very similar, and,、uh, you know, but they are not fully interchangeable. This happens a lot, you know, in Japanese. <laughs> I'm sure you know this by now.、Uh, kind of rough、um, explanation. Of course, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but kate, kate is like, of course, home. Okay, kate is home, more like a place. Okay, or space. Kate,、uh, household. Of course, it could mean family, but it's more like, you know,、uh, your home, you know, inside the house. Okay, kate. Okay. And、uh, quick explanation for kazuku kazuku is family, including people, family members, even like yufi. You know, yufi wa kazuku. Okay, but I can't say yufi wa kate. I can't say that. <laughs> you know? So,、um, I can say, Yufi wa, my cat, okay? Kazuku. Yeah, I can talk about like my pet, Yufi, my cat. Yufi wa Kazuku, my, you know, a family member. Okay, Kazuku no ichin is more like kind of. Ichi, in, like a member. No ichin. You don't have to say ichin. Ichin means a member, a member of you know, a family. So, yeah, with kazuku, kazuku meaning family, it could be about one family member, or it could be about pets, or extended family members. You know,、uh, kazuku. Okay, yufi wa kazuku. No ichin means a member. So, yufi wa kazuku. But I can never say yufi wa kate because yufi is not a place. <laughs> If it's not like a house, you see? Okay? If it's not a household, okay?、Uh, if it's a kazuku, okay? And、uh, let me see. Of course, you know, kazuku talking about your family members, even cousins, you know? Well, of course, in that case, it's more like shinseki. We have a better word for that, but still like an extension of kazuku, you know, family. And so kazuku could be one person, could be, you know, the whole family, could be kazuku. But a kate is not like that. Kate is not one person. You know, kate is like a place. You know?、Um, let me see. So I can't say yufi wa kate. <laughs> It's weird.、Uh, kazoku.、Um, you know, tatoeba, watashi no kazoku wa. Let's say, oki, for example. You know, my family is big. So, meaning like you have a lot of family members. But, watashi no kate wa ouki. That's weird to say. Okay. But if you want to say, like, oh, my house is big, okay, that's simply watashi no ie wa ouki, right? So,、uh, yeah, so just like translating,、uh, you know, kate and kazuku as a family, sometimes, of course, it's not going to work. Okay. And let's see about、uh, kate. Okay, let me see. Some examples of kate.、Um, I need to, I know. Let me, okay, I want to scroll like this. There we go. Bear with me. Always tricky if I go to the next page because of this.、Um, okay, so, kate,、um, kate is used like, kono、um, kate, kono, no, no, it's different kanji, kono kate, there are, 
、この家庭では、じゃ例えば、普通、あ、ノーマリー、あ、普通、あ、じゃ例えば、夜、あ、夜七時に、あ、えー、例えば夜ご飯を食べる。あ、okay. uh, じゃあ、例えば食べて、let me see.Maybe you do、um, some activities together. 夜ご飯を食べて、じゃあ、例えば、うーん、えみんなで、uh, テレビを見る、おアニメを見る、そんで、okay. <笑> so, anime family.、Um, okay, so, この家庭では、so、I'm talking about like, the,、uh, like a household. I'm talking about, of course, it's a family, but I'm talking more about like what happens, you know,、uh, in, in what happens at home. Okay? So, この家庭では、you know,、uh, in the home of a specific family. Okay? この家庭では、えー、普通、normally, 夜7時に、so at、uh, 7 p.m. Uh, 夜ご飯を食べて、eat、uh, dinner and みんなで、everyone,、uh, with everyone, アニメを見る。you know, watch anime. So, the, you know, talking about like a household or family,、uh, but, you know, in, you know, in this household, this is like a kind of normal thing for them to do kind of sentence, you know. But if you want to use 家族 as the,、uh, as a subject, この家族は and if you start it like this, it's fine too. But I wanted to use 家庭 as more like a kind of, you know, where、uh, activities like take place. Okay? And、uh, what else? Let me see. Ka- some common words with 家庭家庭教師 You might have heard of it. This. 家庭教師 like a tutor.、Uh, you know, 家庭 It's never 家族教師 Um, 家庭教師、教師、教師。It's like a very formal way of saying 先生。家庭教師、家庭、like home、uh,、教師、tutor、uh,。教師、like teacher。But、uh, 家庭教師、like tutor。So like、um, tutor、uh, like who visit to home, you know?、Uh, uh, and teach. So 家庭教師。Or, uh, 家庭、家庭内暴力、That's、domestic violence. I don't wanna, ha- I don't wanna write that.、Um, 家庭、let me see. 家庭か<笑>家庭か。家庭か means home economics.、Uh, we learn this in, in schools.、Uh, I don't know if you have this. I think it's very unique to Japan, maybe.、Uh, home economics.、Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's a subject、uh, that we have uh, in uh, elementary schools and also、uh, junior high schools. Okay, We learn how to cook, <laughs> how to、uh, you know, sew,、uh, you know, making like aprons and things like that.、Uh, it's pretty fun. Okay. Okay, m- many ways to use a kate, but、um, I can't list every single example here. So, like, I'm gonna move on. Okay, so、uh, the third、uh, question here Dare dare san me, what does me、uh, mean exactly? Uh, uh, Nishikata used it all the time with、uh, Takagi san、uh, when he was angry, irritated, but he didn't say it because, yeah, he, because he shouldn't say it out, out loud.、Um, okay. Okay. I mean, that anime, this show is just, of course, you know, it's, it's fiction. It's a fiction. So, you know, of course, you know, the protagonist,、uh, Nishikata,、uh, says, some, you know, Takagi san me, like, you know, it's like a kind of common thing that,、uh, you know, Nishikata said、uh, when he was a little bit pissed, you know, pissed off, like, hey, why do you do that? Kind of thing. Like,、uh, you know, so frustrating. Like, I'm like,、uh, come on, don't do this to me, kind of thing, you know? So, In that show, it is okay, but don't use it. Okay? So, normally, san is not even used. Because, like, you know,、um, dare dare me. Like, you will say this when you're really, like, angry or, like, really pissed off. <laughs> Sorry about my language. <laughs> my brain doesn't work. I, I can't have better、uh, vocabulary when I'm tired.、Um, let me see. Uh, so, yeah, forget this. Forget this, son, because you don't use it. 
Okay, for that specific show, yeah, yeah, Takagi san met, yeah, when, yeah, uh, Nishikata was pissed off and like, ah, like, why do you do that? Why do you say that? Like, ah, you know, like, ah, but yeah, you say, like, he didn't say it, you know, out loud because it's very offensive, you know? Uh, maybe, okay, let's say some realistic uh, example will be, um, Maybe there's like a mouse, okay? That's really annoying mouse in your house. <laughs> mouse in the house. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a terrible example. Okay, imagine that the mouse ate your cake. How do you feel? Like you feel like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. if I find you, like, blah, blah. you know? That case, that's when you say, Nezumi me. Nezumi, um, mouse, you know, so Nezumi, or maybe, let me just write it in uh, katakana so it's easier, oh, let me see, so Nezumi, so that you, this is a separate thing, uh, so Nezumi, mouse, okay, or mice, mouse, mouse, mice, miss, <laughs> mouses, <laughs> mouse, and uh, yeah, you know, if there's a, you know, mouse or c could be mice, you know, stealing your food, you know, running away from you. And I go, oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't forgive, you know, like, ah, I'm so angry. Like, I'm, I was so looking forward to eating this cake and like, now it's like half eaten. Ah, you know, I don't know what I would do to this, uh, you know, uh, mice. Uh, in that case, it's a nezumi man. Okay. But uh, okay, in that case, it's fine. Okay. It's not directed at like a person. Okay, that's a kind of okay. okay I feel sorry for the my, you know mouse my, mice, uh, sorry you know mouse. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, maybe in you know shows you know anime, if it's fictional, okay, you might hear like a uh, name of the person and say man like hey you know I'm not gonna forget this you know I don't know what I would do to you kind of thing okay that's that okay let me just go to the next one stick sorry I it took time to get to uh, your questions I think I'm almost done whoa that's good great in a uh, uh, question uh, I saw your uh, video on demand about different people yeah I know like you know it, it treat particles uh, like different people yes <laughs> that's my approach uh, to make up knee and uh, uh, do you happen to have something similar to uh, similar for to uh, or is it like ga and wa where there's just so many different rules? Mm, yeah, this is unfortunately yes we have a lot. But I, l let me show you like super common ones that are you know a little bit easy to identify. Okay, it's not as bad as you know wa and ga and ni de. Okay, to isn't too bad because normally it's pretty obvious. Okay, let me list some. I'm not gonna list everything. Okay, of course, in the obvious one, the ob obvious answer will be, of course, noun. To noun. It's like noun to noun. Noun to noun. So, uh, noun and noun. Okay, so, tatoiba, uh, example. Uh, your feet. So, of course, you're gonna, you're gonna hear about my cats often. So if it's my cat, Yuffie to ja haburu. Haburu. Uh, ha. <laughs> I need to type one by one for this one. Uh, haburu. I mean, his official name is Hubble, but like when I actually write it in Japanese, this is how it's spelled. So Yuffie to haburu. So Yuffie and Hubble. Uh, Yuffie to haburu. So the, in this case, uh, it's and. Okay. So you feel hobble. So you feel the hobble wa issue ni asobu something. So issue ni together. So issue ni asobu. Ah. So you feel the hobble play together. Okay. There you go. Um. But yeah, be careful. Um. When you have to, to isn't the only and. It it means. And when this happens, and uh, like you're connecting two kind of equal things or similar things together, you know, noun, to, noun, noun, and noun, two kind of similar, you know, examples, okay? In that case, it's, of course, you know, considered as and. Um, 
Okay. I'll just do this. Sorry, I don't have time to go to the chat. I kind of want to finish it off. Um, <laughs> right. So yeah, so that's easy, right? That's easy. And uh, another one is super obvious. Um, It's somebody... Oh, okay. So this one is not sandwiched. Okay, let me see. Somebody to. And this is another one. Okay, somebody to. Let me change the color. Maybe use that on somebody to. So with somebody. So um, let me see. So... Tomodachi to, very common ways, tomodachi to. Um, yeah, let me just change back to. Uh, here we go. Tomodachi to. Tomodachi. So, my friend, tomodachi to. Ja, tatoeba, a game o suru. Yeah, so game o suru, game o shimas. Okay, this is somebody to, so with my friend. So, somebody. To. Okay, so yeah, so this one is completely different from uh, the previous one. So I play, um, I play a game or I play video games. Um, I play a video game with with somebody, so with a friend or friend. It could be friends, depending on uh, what you mean. Um, it could be a friend. It could be friends sorry i mix the two uh let's make it just one with a friend or with my friend um this is with somebody okay just to make it easier let me adjust something i want to do this instead um so it's easier to spot okay so okay this is better for me and this I'm gonna do um multiple this color and that and so I can just highlight this so you can find them easily. Um there you go. So yeah, um so now to now that's easy and a somebody to um with somebody, uh you know, with a friend in this case, so with somebody. Somebody told us that's already different. And also uh so many uh let's see nan nan to quote. Let me see. Tato to omo to you so on and so forth. So let me see. So, so when you're quoting something or when you want to say I think that blah blah blah, uh you know, then you you put to after. Like um after that, so let's see. Uh, if you wanna say um Nihongo wa go back Nihongo Muzukashi Muzukashi let's say Muzukashi I I wanna put put this in a positive uh, uh put this into a positive sentence. Muzukashi kedo tanoshi okay. So uh Nihongo wa muzukashi muzukashi let me see in case you can't read it. Uh, so, muzukashi, difficult. Okay, so, nihongo wa muzukashi kedo tanoshi, tanoshi, fun. So, Japanese is difficult but fun. And uh, you see there's a complete sentence and a to omo. Okay, but be careful when you have an adjective or, uh, you know, noun before to, you have to put da. Okay, um, I'm not going to talk about that here, but I think I mentioned that a long time ago. Um, to almost, I think. Yeah, that's also fourth. Okay. Um, something to almost. Okay. Let me just change. This. Which one was it? Ah, it's a different one. I guess. Oh, I think that. Okay, let me just. I'll just write it anyway. One sec. Uh, I think that. Um, it means is uh, hard or difficult, but fun. Okay, here we go. So you have like a mini sentence here. And then the function of to is basically this. It's more like a bridge. Okay. So this is the function. 
but the order is completely different from English, isn't it? So, uh, let me see. Example for this you to say. Um, let me see. Tomodachi wa. Tomodachi wa. Tomodachi wa. Eto. Let's quote it. Tomodachi wa. Uh, ashita. Isho ni. Uh, uh, okay. Sushi o tabeyo. Okay. Sushi o tabeyo to um, itta said. Okay. Okay, so uh, I just used you, but in the past tense. Itta o imashita. So, uh, who said it? Tomodachi. Tomodachi wa. So, this is the subject wa. Uh, the doer of the action. Action is you. Itta, past tense. So my friend said, said that, and this is a direct quote. Okay. Ashita, issho ni sushi o tabeyo. So let's eat sushi together tomorrow. Okay. So this to, uh, yeah, it's basically the same function as to. So it could be used right after the direct quote as well. Or it could be just like, you know, when you are saying, I think, you know, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, it does the same thing. Okay, that's another to. Um, let's see. Okay, use. And of course, there's uh, one more common thing is conditional. And there's so many other patterns. <laughs> and, uh, you know, those things you just kind of have to learn one by one. Okay, let me see. It's conditional. Um... Conditional to is different. So let me see. I need to show you something. Um, conditional to. Let me give you uh, <clears throat> uh, conditionals. Here we go. Um, I know. Don't worry about this. But uh, since uh, Stig asks me. <laughs> conditionals. is right here okay what is it okay so um so conditionals in japanese are super super complicated okay my cheat code is to use tara for everything <laughs> it works mostly but of course when you're learning you might come across to and ba as well but if when you're speaking you can kind of get away with tara for pretty much everything, okay? Sometimes you might see nara and so on and so forth, but a tara just kind of covers like 70%. But anyway, so here, to is used. What is it? Okay. I have an explanation here. So to is mostly used for constant results. So for example, facts, like, you know, let's say like scientific facts and things like that, something always happens, and it, you know, if can be translated as when, um, in that case, okay, uh, you can use to. So, for example, if you if you see the sentence, if the sun sets, it gets dark. Okay. So in this case, in this sentence, in this case, you can replace if with when of course it's not going to happen with every single ifs okay i'm going to say this in advance okay so if the sun sets or when the sun sets it gets dark again okay this is i'm just stating a fact it always happens right so in that case higa shizumu higa shizumu uh the sun sets see i have to Higashizumuto, if the sun sets, kurakunaru, uh, it gets dark. Okay, so you see the way I use the to there? You know, this is the conditional to. Okay, when you're using conditional to, um, you know, you can use it for facts, something that always happens. Let me see. See, this is like kind of common sense, isn't it? Natsu. Summer, natsu ni naruto. So when it becomes summer, 
uh, when the summer comes, basically that's what it is. Atsukunaru, it gets hot. Of course, atsukunaru, it gets hot. That's like, you know, a fact, isn't it? It always happens, like kind of common sense, okay? And uh, so yeah, because since it's like a fact and, uh, you know, it always happens, so I'm using to here. Natsu ni naru to, okay? If the summer uh, comes or if uh, it becomes summer, or when it becomes summer, atsukunaru, it gets hot, okay? Of course, this can be replaced by natsu ni nattara or natsu ni nareba. <laughs> so many different ways to say if. <laughs> you don't want to get into this yet, okay? But I'm just showing you like how to use a talk conditional, okay? Let's see. Uh, this is not like a scientific fact, but I thought it's interesting to put it here. So, uh, tsumaranai eiga, so boring eiga movie tsumaranai eiga o miru to so uh, if i watch a boring film or when i watch a boring film nemukunaru i get sleepy okay of course it can be uh, rephrased as tsumaranai eiga a uh, boring eiga movie o mitara so when i watch a boring movie uh, you know I, I become sleepy or uh, you know i get sleepy you know? Of course, it's not a scientific fact, but like, okay, it just kind of happens. It kind of common sense if it's boring, you know. Um, so you can use to for that too. And uh, okay, so for instructional things too, you know, when it's instructional. So for example, kono uh, botan, so this button, or osu to press. So if you press this button, then ga tsuku, uh, the light turns on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rocket science, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, let's see. So instructional here. Uh, yeah, telling directions. It works too. So koko o. So here o migi ni ikuto. So if you go, uh, if you if you go uh, right, uh, or if you turn right here, if you go right here, uh, ikigaru. So there's a station. Or oh, you can also say koko migi ni ittara, or koko migi ni ikeba, and uh, eki ga aru. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, there's so many, <laughs> so many things I could say about to, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Works with, uh, works pretty well with itu demo anytime. That I definitely so on so forth. Uh, because you're talking about oh, you know, uh, this always happens or this happens. Okay, so that's that. Um, but uh, yeah, for other conditionals, you don't use to. Um. Yeah, I'm explaining all, everything about to. Um, it's not complete yet, um, but it's, it's almost complete. As you can see, this chart here, um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, particles for conditionals, but as, as you can see, Tara actually covers a lot, okay? Uh, so my recommendation is just to focus on Tara for now, but a to here, um, you know, if you're talking about constant results, you know, it always happens. The best choice is to. Okay, so that's that. Um, but yeah, this is a really big <laughs> topic that I don't even want to talk about <laughs> because it's like this is too much. Okay, uh, I know I was making, you know, when I was making this file, I was like, oh my gosh, give me a break. Uh, you know, because like I can't believe like how complex this is in Japanese, where you could just say if in English, you know? But anyway, so, um, let me see. I hope I haven't lost you. Um, let me just, let me just squeeze one more. So then I may just go through the chat super quick. Okay, um, let's see. It's a common conditional talk. Uh, let's see, C, B, conditional file. Okay. Um, I, I'll try and up, upload, but I still have to like, you know, add like links and uh, watermarks. It might take some time. Um, okay. So then, yeah, this is what I wanted to, yeah, <laughs> this book is what I wanted to show. Um, Stigs, yeah, finally, I'm getting to your question, the last question from you. Um, okay, we go. Uh, so currently a little past... At the start of N3 grammar, but I wouldn't say my understanding of N4 and 5 are really deep or comprehensive or anything. I recommend this book, 
Okay, this is a uh, Somatome book uh, covering N4, N5. You know, they have little quizzes and things like that. Or uh, as I just recommended, Tobira. You know, uh, Tobira is a good book to cover N5, 4, 3. So you can either use this and Tobira or, you know, one of them. It doesn't matter. It will help you a lot. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show here. Um, okay. So I think this is the last one. Okay, uh, Zarain, uh, you know, I, I moved her question here because she said uh, she she could only make it to like the uh, the, the late later part of this uh, stream. So I moved, one sec, I moved everything. Sorry, I was, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Uh, yeah, I moved her question right here. Uh, but, but this is a really common thing that everyone asks. Uh, so let me see. Okay. So, uh, back when I studied Japanese formally, the textbook and the professor only used watashi no uchi uh, to refer to one's place of residence. Uh, however, in actual spoken Japanese, I hear most people use ie. Uh, so I've started using that as well. Is this something that changed with the times, uh, original variation, etc.? I was hoping you could go into a little bit of detail <laughs> about the difference. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, okay. Let's see. So, uchi and ie. Okay. So, of course, you know, both could be written as the same with the same kanji. Um, let me see. So, and ie. Okay. So, 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 so. Okay. So, ie. Um, house, more like a physical building, okay? Um, you know, like, uh, more like you're talking about when you say ie, house, more kind of physical, you know, building. So it could be like, you know, in, any houses, you know, uh, any houses you see in the neighborhood or like, you know, any houses you see on the internet, they are ie, but you can't call them uchi because they're not your house. <laughs> or houses, you know, we wish, right? Let's see. I'm so like, you know, more like kind of, you know, let me see. Okay, so building wise, okay. Mm -hmm. So, ie, so watashi no ie, uh, I'm talking about the house itself, okay? Uh, uchi, of course, you know, it's like more like a home. It could be a house too, but more like my house, okay? Um, Moo house, sorry, my. <laughs> we go. Uh, uchi. Uh, so uchi home, my house. Uh, more like uh related to your family as well. So like um, so if I say uchi no neko, I wouldn't say ie no neko. You know, if I wanna say my cat, uh, my family cat. Of course, it's it's my cat, but you know if I say uchi no neko, yeah, like uh, our cat, or you know it could be could be my cat too, you know, or families cat, my family cat, um, yeah, uchi no neko. Um, you know, of course, I'm referring to. Yuffie and Hubble, you know, could be our cats, it's fine too. But I can't say ie no neko, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say that, you know. So uchi is more like, you know, closely related to you, you know. It's more um, subjective, okay. Hmm. Um, so uchi. Uh, yeah, I mean, so in this case, like if you say uh, uchi ni kuru or ie ni kuru, they are both interchangeable. So, do, you know, do you want to come over? You you come into my house? You know, uh, ie ni kuru, uchi ni kuru, the same thing. But of course, they're not fully interchangeable, depending on what you're saying. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, but uchi has more like kind of home element. Okay. And uh, it is my house too, but like, you know, it's, it's more like a kind of personal thing. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, could be any house, any houses, you know, anybody, you know, my, your friend's house. Um, but uh, can you use uchi for like your friend's house? Let's see. Uh, if they're close enough to you, um, let's see. Uh, tiny, tiny no uchi. <laughs> That's also fine. If you want to say, you know, uh, you know, tiny Tanya's house. And if you are close to me, you know, uh, you can use like a, like second person, uh, second person's name, no uchi. But I mean, if you want to be on the safe side, you want to use ie. But uchi, you want to kind of keep it like within your, you know, family, yourself, yourselves. Okay. And uh, ie has more like in a house or just like buildings, more physical things. Okay. I hope that explains. I'm dying. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so scared to go back to the chat. Uh, let me see. Um, did I miss a lot? <laughs> let me see. I honestly, I can't go through everything. <laughs> um, I'm going to just quickly go through. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Wow. Like how, how much is that? I, I missed like two, two hours of a uh, chat. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Um, Patrick Akiyama, let me see. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Um, let's see. I'm just going through super quickly. Uh, I hope you're still here. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Taikim. So yeah, I read that one. Um, talk to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea to talk to yourself. Yes. Um, Try to find language partner instead of tutor or teacher. Won't be easy. Yeah, uh, in terms of yeah, Patrick. Um, about like language partners, it's really hard to like be um, organized. Like you know, if you wanna have like you know, uh, more like a set schedule. If you wanna actually have your mistakes corrected, of course you know, tutors and teachers will be. A better option but if financially you know if you want to save money uh you know you could find a language partner but it's not going to be as easy you know sometimes it's going to be one-sided and sometimes it's just easier to just pay you know uh, for a teacher or a tutor if you can you know afford it and it doesn't matter if it's like once you know once a month or something you know kind of keeps you going anyway um yeah Satori Reader is a good app. Good. Um, mm. Yeah, so yeah, Andrew. Andrew always says good things. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, always, yeah. Again, talk, talking to yourself is free. Just have a full on conversation and see what you can say to yourself, what you can ask yourself, you know? Um, <laughs> let me see. Um, <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, uh, Corey, uh, maybe we should make a study Discord. Yeah, I thought about that. Like, uh, of course, you know, you want to do like an un unofficial Tainan <laughs> Academy Discord. I might pop in, you know, and say something, but I can't run it right now. Um, you know, if you, if you want to do that, feel free. Uh, I might pop in and say hello and then, you know, check, you know, some things. And uh, But uh, right now, you know, I'm like so busy. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Okay. Hmm. Right, right. Okay, let me see. I might have to skip a lot. Um Mina no Nihongo. I uh, looked inside Mina no Nihongo uh and seen the wall of just Japanese. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mina no Nihongo might be a little bit off-putting. Uh but uh, yeah, tr maybe try you know the textbook I suggested. It it's really good. It's not it's not very overwhelming. It's written in English as well, so it's very easy, you know, to use. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys want to like uh, go ahead and make like a Discord group, you know, for this, you know, uh, channel you know, an official, uh, you know, Discord, uh, I'll be happy to kind of, you know, like, you know, come in and check out, uh, but I, I can't, I can't manage it right now, <laughs> you know, I can't run it myself, you know, um, 
in uh, social anxiety and lack of social skills. It, it gets better. I mean, I, I I have social anxiety. I freak out. You might not you might not see see me like that, but I I I I have a major problem with social anxiety. I I can't sit with you know people and eat dinner. I I I'm silent. You know. I'm re- I I start sweating and everything. But if I'm talking like one on one, like I'm fine. Or like if I'm just streaming, I'm fine. But if I'm sitting with like people, oh my gosh, it terrifies me so much. And uh, yeah, I have a major problem with social anxiety, so I understand it. Sometimes it is manageable you if you expose yourself little by little. But uh, you know you don't have to force it. Uh, Nazanin, uh, hello, what is the difference between, uh, me, A and me? Okay. Uh, I think I answered a long time ago in a different stream. Maybe, yeah, okay, Hedge, great. Okay, you, you helped, uh, you helped Nazanin, that's great. Yeah, uh, there are many things that I've already explained. So, like, it really helps if someone like Hedge can just, like, you know, uh, you know, provide a link like that. Thank you. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to go through as much as possible, okay. Um, I don't mind paying for something if I use it frequently. Mm, probably just going to stick to the free stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, jump to right. So just like do some like demo versions, trial versions. And if you think you like, you know, the app or, you know, if you like any of these approaches or books, whatever. Yeah, of course, you know, paying for the subscription kind of motivates you too because like you're paying for it and you don't want to lose money, you know. So like, um, yeah, sometimes I buy, you know, courses and courses for horses. Uh, you know, I invest on something and it kind of like can force it it kind of forces me to use it. <laughs> so, you know, it's actually a good idea, you know, if you can afford it, okay? Uh, Frogman, sorry, I got I got back to you too late, but uh, you're here. Um, you, you know that I always go through your messages. Let me see. Um, okay, Patrick, uh, always like, but uh, what, what will I talk about? I'm just boring old nerd. We can read Japanese. Um, yeah, talk about anything. Talk about anything. Just like, you know, good topics to talk about. It's like your, you know, plans, something that you did and uh, ask them uh, what they did, what they normally do, you know, uh, over the weekend, what kind of uh, hobbies they have, what kind of shows they watched recently, what kind of games they like, what kind of what kind of games you like? So many things to talk about. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're a nerd. If you're a nerd, you have a lot to talk about. You know. Anyway. Um. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Hedgy helping. Great. Uh, Ryan Gosling says <laughs> the real Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Have some ce- celebrities uh, in the chat. Great. Uh, not. Um... Uh, Frogman, I think I answered that uh, your question about Tai Kim's Japanese guide. I've heard of it. Uh, people have mixed reviews. I personally haven't really looked at it. It looks like a dictionary. Might be um, too much for many learners, uh, but I can't really comment personally. Um, okay, let me see. Um, I have to skip some messages. I'm sorry. So scared and introvert. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, right, Andrew. Yeah, I, 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 I like, I, I like what you say here in the chat. Like, this will help a lot of people. Uh, so you are scared, and uh, yeah, you are an introvert. I, I'm an introvert. Like, you know, I'm an introvert. You might not be, you, you might not see me like that. You know, me like on streaming and things like that. You know, teaching. I am an introvert, but I, I can't just you know be quiet. You know, I want to help. I want to you know, help people. That's why I'm you know, I'm streaming. I have a channel, you know, I, I try to talk to people, even though I'm shaking, you know, I'm shaking inside, but I need to kind of push myself and, uh, you know, be, uh, be better. Um, anyway, so yeah, yeah, practicing, practicing, uh, helps a lot. You gain more confidence, so it makes it a little bit easier. So let me see. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, the 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 the, the uh, links are uh, Hechi right now is uh, is a moderator. Uh, he's uh, he's a volunteer. Uh, he's moderating the chat. Uh, you know, on behalf of me, because I can't go through every single chat message. You know, sometimes you know the celebrity is popping and say something interesting. <laughs> I can't delete these messages. So Hechi right now is uh, moderating the chat. And, you know, if you guys want to, you know, help, help me, help us, you know, uh, making the chat, you know, uh, um, more like a friendly place, please, please let us know. Uh, let me know. I can make you, you know, moderators uh, too. You know, maybe Patrick might want to be one. You know, you, you are always here. <laughs> no pressure, but like, you know, I see familiar faces here. So like, you know, if you guys want to kind of, you know, be moderators uh, and, uh, you know, like go through chat and maybe, you know, uh, look after the chat, you can. Okay, but just l let me know maybe, you know, uh, in uh, in the comments or in a community post and things like that. Okay. Um, anyway, so y if you are, you know, one of the uh, moderators, you can post links. But uh, yeah, I gave that uh, power to Hechi because, you know, he always helps me uh, by, you know, putting, you know, uh, adding links you know, and helping people. So anyway, but if you guys want to, you know, be a moderator as well, j just let me know. Okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> yeah, Hitch, Hitch can remove comments. I know. I mean, Akiyama or like Patrick, you know, anybody else want to help, please let me know. Okay. Like I, I don't want to exclude any of you, but it's just like Hitchy has been helping me a lot with like timestamps and uh you know and he's happy to help i mean i'm not trying to like you know uh take advantage of anything but he, he's happy to do that and if he wants to quit he can quit anytime you know if he want if if any of you want to you know participate and uh, you know uh, help the chat uh that's great you know like let me know i can make you a moderator as well okay um let me see and oh i just skipped everything one sec Oh, where did it go? Sorry, it's not easy. Um, I, I have to scroll. <laughs> so many. One sec. Uh, bear with me. I'm just going through the chat. Um, when you can, you can slow you down to yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, because when you can just give you so many reviews and like, you know, you, you have like a thousand reviews to go through and you don't have time, time you know, to do that. Uh, but in that case, maybe just like you want to just switch to Anki or something. Once you know, you know, once you know enough radicals, maybe you don't even need uh, Wanikani, you know, just like, okay, ra radicals are something that you need to learn, you know, whatever it is. Uh, whatever you do, you need to learn radicals. Once you learn radicals, you can just switch to Anki or just like use Brainscape, just to use whatever you want, you know, and then build it from there. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, Hechi removing uh, negative sentences. Uh, not learning <laughs> grammar. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, everyone's different, Hechi. Like, you know, of course, you know. Um, you know, you might want to remove, I mean, you might want to remove uh, comments if they're not very, you know, uh, relevant, you know, to the discussion. But I, I'm open for, you know, any any opinions. You know, some people might say, yes, you know, they, they don't want to study grammar, you know, but I think this that's one way to, you know, I don't want to say it's bad, I, you know, uh, I don't, I don't want to say, you know, that's bad or good you know, again, everyone's different, everyone, you know, learns differently, so, um, you know, it, it's up to you, you know, what you want to do with it, okay, um, um, let me see, I might skip some uh, messages, um, okay, per level, okay, most people won't be able to keep up with the ocean of vocabulary, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, so, um, my tip about like a uh, tip uh, on like uh you know learning vocab is that if you think that you're not gonna use it, you don't have to learn it. You know you can always go back, uh you know to what you don't know when you are like maybe consuming media. Uh you know you can go back to these things, but when you're just building vocab, and if you think it's not important, you can always skip it. You know, and uh, it's not the end of the world. You can always come back to them. Okay. Um, yeah, Taikim's guide is free. I think so. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, let me see. Um, okay, so let me see what I have other students struggle with remembering the country. Uh, the other books you recommend with different teaching style. Well, I mean, rem remembering the country is like one of the major, uh, like uh, books, kanji books. I recommend it by many people too. So, like you know. Honestly, there is no one easy solution for kanji. So like if you're skipping resources after resources, you might not be able to find anything. I know I'm being really honest here. You might have to stick around. You might have to stick to one method for a little bit longer, you know, and, you know, have patience, you know, to use that approach. You know, maybe all of a sudden it might just make sense. So um, anyway, so let me see. If you could find resources that are written in Japanese only, considering you are in the country. Um, I mean, for kanji, um, there are a lot of resources, resources for like elementary school, you know, learners. But, you know, in Japan, we learn so differently. So it might not make any sense. Um, let me see. Internet study mostly for, okay. Let me see, I'm gonna have to skip some. Um, okay, so yeah, so just, uh, okay, let me see, I'm skipping some messages, uh, make love Bozaro, <laughs> Bozaro, uh, Pochizaroku, that's what's the, the shortened form, uh, Bozaro de Gozaro, <laughs> funny, um, it's kind of complicated in Japanese. What well, isn't? Yeah, everything is complicated. I know. Um, mm. uh, when you say, I will know. Yeah, it sounds like a threat. The, I mean, the, the direct translation will be like, I will know or I will find out. I will figure out as well. Okay. Uh, why Why are you like this Nihongo? I know. That's, that's my line, Akiyama. Uh, let me see. Yes, that the people on the other side of the world, uh, an island would perceive world world differently. I know, um, I know we speak so differently. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, sticks. I wonder if this also applies to other verbs, uh, where if you wanna say you already uh, something, you need to be uh, explicit with more uh, teiru. Um. More, uh, more, ta more plus, uh, usually it's the past, it's more tabeta. Tateba, yoru gohan wa more tabeta, already ate. Uh, more, uh, more, uh, plus te iru, it's more like a, like a state. So, uh, use, also you can use that for something like, uh, mm, more. Like maybe you started eating, you know, um, yeah, you, can, you can use that too, yeah. But of course the meanings will change depending on what it is. So let me see. Um, wakaru. Let me see. I've just noticed that wakaru is intransitive and she's trying to get right. Okay. Um, um, Akiyama, that's not my comment question. I didn't submit. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, definitely once you start getting a foundation on your skills, it will become a lot fun to... Mm. Um. Okay, let me see. Uh, if you're willing to learn how to... Yeah, that comment was the uh, from the first, uh, uh, from the first uh, question. Uh, let me see. If you're willing to learn how to avoid ignore certain types of content, uh, that you might not be comfortable with uh, visual novels with Yomicha have been working great for me. Yeah, so things like um, whatever works for you works for you, you know. And also you want to enjoy it. Uh, so you know whatever that's working for you, if if that helps you learn you know new vocab, yeah, uh, you know that's something that wanna kind of you wanna keep continue doing that. So. Um, <laughs> could be dangerous. Yeah, my my neck. Like sometimes when I move in a certain like uh, direction, <laughs> you know, um, it kind of snaps in a certain way. I know. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, sticks uh, voice acting along with reading uh, on dialogue 
descriptive text that use grammar structures uh, that may not be common in dialogue and a lot of vocabulary I know um <clears throat> so just think to myself even if it be in my native language I wouldn't understand a word mm. let me see uh listen to reading a random piece of media and being able to say I understand like yeah yeah sure like uh, y you will understand more as you learn more vocab and you know you understand more grammar things like that okay um let me see え、答えてどうもありがとう。オッケー。あ、パトリック、答え、答えてくれてどうもありがとう。シュビーだ。イエム。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ。あ、あ。あ、あ。あ、あ。あ、あ。あ、あ。あ
exhausted. <laughs> I just couldn't walk. So I'm like, oh, I need to get back to exercising. Anyway. Um, let me see. Uh, ah, Brandon, Sensei, hi, I'm here. I'm streaming right now. Um, Sensei, will you make me miso soup every day? Uh, I hope I would, uh, I hope I could do that. Uh, the man with the beard. Uh, hello, you're here. Good, good, good to see you. Uh, um, <laughs> um, let me see. So I'm gonna skip some some of the uh, messages. I'm sorry. I can't look at everything. Um, Takagi-san today. Second second question mentioned Takagi-san. Seems like Takagi-san is a kind of hot topic today. Um, high school. Uh, ten point from a rival school. <laughs> Let me see. Um, me. Ah, uh, teme and me are different curry. Uh, teme is from omae. Uh, but this something may actually use it different kanji. So uh, curry, um, something may and teme are two different things. Okay, uh, very similar in terms of the meaning and a delivery. But uh, teme is from like uh, this, you know, it's from omae teme. It's a different kanji. Um, let me see. His nose. Uh, let me see. Uh, to. Uh, almost specifically, I remember you're talking about the... Mm, yeah, yeah, yes, you're right, 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 Tomo. Yeah, good. Sticks. I like that you're remembering what I said before in my streams. That helps a lot. Um, okay, electricity. Oh, did I skip it once? Uh, um, I can't go back. <laughs> uh, Kashi instead, okay. Uh... Okay, okay, sure. I hope it helped sticks. Okay, good. And jump studio, you're still there. Good. Um, <laughs> so you talk, beginner, talking to yourself, pro. Listen to the voices in your head, <laughs> talking to each other. Good, good. I like that. Um, intermediate, uh, talk to your dogs. Uh, good. Or cats. Yeah, right, right. Um, one on one is great with uh, two other people. I speak yeah exactly the same jump jitter yeah one and one is great for me with the two other people I don't know I I just get a little bit paranoid like you know and then like I don't know what to say next so I, I'm the same yeah with three others I'm silent I am exactly the same I'm just like oh, am I supposed to say something right now this happens to me a lot I'm working on it but it's really hard um <laughs> In introverts anonymous self-help group yeah i like that uh, it, i mean it is related to you know speaking japanese too so you know like it's, it's connected um <laughs> okay i'm sorry sensei it's very easy to believe you are an introvert thank you <laughs> i am um good good and uh Oh my gosh, okay, Patrick, sure, I can try being a moderator, though I have no experience. No, uh, okay, that'd be great, Patrick, if, uh, I'll, I'll uh, you know, uh, make you a moderator, that'd be great, because you've been, you know, here in the chat for such a long time, and uh, you are pretty much in every uh, stream, so I was thinking about you as a candidate, too. Uh, <laughs> blue name, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, wrench powers, right, right. Um. Um, okay, great. Yeah, I'll send you like an invite. Um, you might just like you know become a moderator uh, automatically, but I I'll kind of work on that. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, tiny ones. <laughs> no, Zaido. Uh, Zaido, it, it's up to you. Of course, you know, if you don't want to do grammar, it, it's your choice. It's your choice. Okay. But I mean, like. You know, grammar helps. So that's all I. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I mean, if you don't want to do grammar, learning phrases and patterns uh, uh, helps. Okay. Um, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as like learning every single grammar point. But learning like sentence patterns. Okay. Uh, um, in different you know situations. You know, for different situations. For Zaito, it might work for you. You know, so that's why, you know, the book I recommended is really good. Okay. Gravidon, you made it here. Good. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. 
pretty good at holding conversation in certain languages. Yeah, with AI, I uh, tried it in Japanese. Sometimes it's, it's not that good. It's still not there yet. Uh, I think it might work well in certain languages. Maybe like, of course, English, uh, German, uh, a lot of Roman languages. But for Japanese, it, it messes up a lot and uh, it misunderstands you too, you know. Uh, so it's not really there yet. Okay, um, but I mean, if you just want to, you know, just write sentences and things like that, and uh, uh, I, I guess it's better than nothing. Of course, it's better to be checked by, you know, a native speaker like, like myself, you know, that's why I do, you know, uh, sentence checking streams, you know, so if you want to show me something, you know, I can always check it for you. Um, let me see. Oh my gosh, the stream, stream is going this is so long. <laughs> Maybe this is the longest I've ever had. Let's see. I love that you are still here. <laughs> Great. I'm sure it's so late for you, uh, for late some of you. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, try it. Uh, let me see. Jump you to, um, aren't you uh, sleepy? Um, let me see. Chat GPT. Um, I see. I haven't tried Google, uh, like Bard. Um, let me see, excuse me, when it comes to AI, um, yeah, especially in Japanese, don't, don't use AI for Japanese, yeah, it's not, it's not there, I tried it, uh, for translating purposes, it does a pretty good job, but it still makes a lot of mistakes, but, uh, uh as a conversation kind of partner replacement, it, it's not very good yet, okay, uh, it gets mixed up a lot, so I, I hope the technology changes, uh, but uh, again, Japanese is such a difficult language, so <laughs> to even automate it. So let me see. Im, let me see. Where did I go? Um, yeah, just how it is. Um, general. Okay, let me see. I might have to skip all this. Uh, how could I pull the gaijin card? <laughs> you might just have to. Uh, make a gaijin card and uh, like uh you know uh you know put it uh, like a badge <laughs> sorry joking um let's see i mean like it's nice to be uh you know uh mistaken for a japanese speaker you know um let me see chat gpt is way more impressive than anything we had before mm. so the name is more justified uh, than the previous attempt um um, I see. I think it just gets better, but like for Japanese, it's not there yet. So like, I hope, you know, uh, they change something. Um, so then like, I'm happy to test it. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Next door neighbor. Yeah. I mean like, you know, just like practicing conversation, you know, it might not be perfect. As I said, it's, it's hard to find anything that's perfect. Uh, but just like, you know, just, just to keep you, you know, uh, speaking, you know, get you speaking and, you know, keep, you know, get you writing and things like that, you know, even though it might not, uh, it might not be perfect. It might not be accurate. It might make mistakes. I mean, I would say, why not, you know, still like gives you like a place to practice. Okay. Um, so that's good. Um, uh la, 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 la. let's see alternative uh getting yahoo auction <laughs> yahoo auction exists it does uh uh lakuma or merukari yeah merukari is also popular too yes uh uma musume okay i i bought my uma musume figures uh through yahoo auction good yeah good good choice <laughs> good choice um can't keep ordering from uh japan uh, though uh, sh shipping I know yeah sometimes you might want to consolidate uh, products uh, what I do is like I of course you know I uh, I buy stuff from Japan but I consolidate into one you know uh, package and I use Tenso and uh, you know forward it to me uh, here uh, you know to California and uh, it's not that expensive if I consolidate but um, depending on what you're buying let me see um, Patrick, I bought like 25 manga volumes from Japan. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's like too much. <laughs> it's too heavy. Um, yeah, if you go to Japan and buy manga, it's super cheap. Yeah, it's, it's just like 
better to just even go there. You could just save money. Um, right. Yeah, it's really expensive to buy manga from, uh, well, like out outside, outside of Japan. Oh my gosh, too much for shipping. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, <laughs> everyone's like still, oh, still here. All right, so I think I'm going, okay? I, I try to go through um, as much as possible. I uh, I managed to answer uh, questions, okay, that were submitted, okay? Sorry if you couldn't submit, uh, you know, beforehand. I will have another uh, stream, okay, at some point, okay? Uh, but uh, you see, it took three hours <laughs> to even do this. So, uh, but yeah, if you want to, you know, uh, if you have questions, if you want, if you need to ask something, just like, take some notes. So like, you know, when I say, oh, you know, submit your questions, then you're ready. You know, you're ready to submit. Okay. So I think I'm ready to go. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Can anyone hear me comments from PC and not sending? I, I see Andrew here. I, 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 I see Andrew's message here. Um, and then everyone else's uh, message uh, here, I hope. Um, uh, let me see. Let's, um, let me see. All right. So, uh, I'm, I'm, my brain's fried. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> Hopefully I see you at the weekend, okay? I have another, um, uh, like Animal Crossing, uh, you know, stream. I will trying to cover more you know, cool stuff. I know it, it looks like, you know, it's for kids, but it's not. It's actually pretty good, you know, for learners like you. And uh, you can actually learn a lot and even understand, you know, the game. And, uh, you know, this will motivate you. So I'll, uh, you know, do another uh, Animal Crossing stream uh, this weekend. Hopefully I will uh, do, uh, I'll play, you know, maybe different types of games too. But as you know, I'm still new <laughs> to streaming. I need to do a lot of testing. And uh, so uh, you have to bear with me, okay? <laughs> All right. So um, good night, everyone. Banya, Gravidon, uh, you, you're here. Uh, oh, your mobile is working, Andrew, but it's not working. I see your comment, Andrew. Yeah, I see your comment, Andrew. You're fine. Um, Stigs, uh, arigato. Minarigato. Yes. Akiyama. Matane Stigs. Everyone, thank you for being here. Patrick, I'll send you uh, I'll make you um the second moderator, okay? And anybody anybody wants to, you know, do the same, you know, as Hitchi and Patrick. I don't want to exclude anybody, but I want you guys to be, you know, of course, you know, I, want you guys to have common sense and if you think you know you you just saw like a spam message or you know something that's toxic whatever then you know i want you guys to you know remove you know messages it's super simple it's not very difficult you know and then just like you help people like in general anybody can do it okay so just let me know like you know maybe in the next uh in a stream or chat if you want to think about it if you want to help the chat and be the moderator power. Uh, let me know, you know, uh, you know, in the comments or uh, in, in the chat in the next stream. You know, I'll, I'll think about it. And uh, but right now, Hitch is being such a hero for you know helping, you know, uh, my streams uh, by going through you know uh, chat messages. And uh, because I you know I can't pay attention all the time. Okay, so if you want to help, you know, uh, like uh, Hitch and Patrick, let me know. Okay. All right, so Oyasumi, uh, you can't post links. Yeah, Andrew, <laughs> you need the moderator power for that. Uh, I know. Uh, if you want to post links, um, you can't post right now. Okay, you can just like you know give us keywords. Okay, just give us keywords. So then I I will be able to post it. Okay, or Hechi will be able to post it for you. Okay, so um, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, being a moderator. It gives it privileges, <laughs> I know, but uh, you know, I don't want to exclude if anyone, okay. But if you think, oh, I want to help out, just let me know, okay. All right, so I'm going to matane, arigato, matane, see you uh, at the weekend, shumatsu ne.
Okay, Akima, if you wanna help, you can help too, Stigs. Okay, sleep skills are such a mess, Stigs. Oh, oh, okay. No, Stigs, don't worry. If you if you need to sleep, please sleep, okay? There will be always archives, okay? Oh, you can just join whenever you can, okay? So don't worry. I, I don't wanna, I don't want you to stay up late or anything, okay? So, Zaito, bye. Matane, minna matane. All right. Jump Jiri Matane, you stayed from the beginning to the end. Excellent. <laughs> Patrick Matane, everyone Matane, Hechi Matane. Jump Jiri, everyone Matane. 